Using your round nose pliers, rotate the head pin back towards you until it meets the base of the bead. Then you will have created a basic loop. Welcome to The Late Show here on Jewelry Maker. My name's Ed, thank you so much for joining us. A very exciting evening tonight on Jewelry Maker because we are joined by the lovely Sarah Elvin. How are you, Sarah? I'm very well, thank you. We're like partners in crime now. I know. Whenever I am honoured by having a guest designer, it's always you. Oh, well, that's there good. you go. That's nice, isn't it? Yes, <laughs> well, I'm happy because you can sort of turn your hand to so many different disciplines. So yeah. if ever I'm stumped, you'll always have the solution. Yeah, I, I think with jewelry making, I like to, to try everything. Okay. And nothing sort of really worries me too much. The only thing that I haven't really sort of headlong dived into is the polymer clay, but I've got all the tools now, so it's just a matter all of time. Right, okay. So I've got a little bit of time coming up with the children on half term, so I'm going to have a go. And it's a good discipline to sort of engage with with children. So I've done it yes. with my daughter, so it's the yeah. perfect one, isn't it? That's half it. Term. So yeah, another half term. I know. I I'm never out the school. <laughs> oh well, oh well, that's quite good because you get to have lots of fun. Say again, so producer Liam. I've got all that to look forward to. Well, yeah. <laughs> when half term comes round. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to start off with um, a discipline which I think is another good one for youngsters to get involved with, actually. And yeah, let's get let's get underway. Let's give everybody the opportunity to invest in all of the cords they need to get started with macrame. So we are going to give you the macrame DVD. This is edition two about an hour's worth of tutorage and it'll be Mark Smith who's the expert on the macrame DVD of course we're gonna give you an incredible deal here it's gonna represent amazing value and so all of these cords are perfect for so many different disciplines of course um, Sarah's our expert in Kumahima aren't you so you could actually adopt all of these cords for Kumahima as well and in fact we'll give you the opportunity to own Sarah's Kumihimo DVD next. And actually, I think when people are interested in the braiding techniques such as macrame and Kumihimo, people tend to turn their hands to both. Well, we've just been discussing that, haven't we, actually? Yeah, I mean, they're very interchangeable skills. Okay. So once you understand the sort of structures of, of knots from macrame and things like that, you can then transfer some of those across to your braiding techniques you then start understanding the sort of techniques that are involved in the Kumihimo and the way that, they're, that mm -hmm. using your Kumihimo disc or plate helps to create that braid. Yeah. So they're all sort of, once you've got a little bit of each of the skills, you, you start actually thinking, oh, you know what, I can use a bit yeah. of macrame to start off from a, um, a Kumihimo piece to create a buttonhole. Right, okay. And then I can switch on to using my uh, Kumihimo disc to create the braid. Okay, so they're quite complementary oh, yeah. techniques Definitely. anyway. But I think, you know, I was quite, um, you know, encouraged by what you were saying, you know, about not feeling intimidated by yeah. different disciplines anyway. I suppose the real trick with jewellery making is to try and add as many strings to your bow as you can because then yeah. you're going to have a really eclectic collection when you put together designs. All disciplines normally start with basic building blocks. Right. And then, a bit like, you know, when you, you make these really elaborate um, building block structures. Yeah. They all start with basic formations. Yeah, of course, yeah. And that's how you'll 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 move with macrame and kumihimo and all the other techniques is you'll learn those basic foundations, and then how you put the other blocks on top of it is completely so up to you. you. That's that's the design part yes. of creating beautiful jewelry. Yeah. So some of these different techniques are going to help you to maybe grow in confidence with your jewelry making and of course to create bespoke jewelry designs if you're working with a number of different techniques within your piece of jewelry you know that no one's going to really have done the exact same version of your design because you know as sarah was saying you might start with a macrame knot and then end up creating a kumihimo piece so you know these techniques are very very complementary I actually think it's important to have, you know, different strings to your bow, as I say, different skill sets for each collection of jewellery that you're putting together. Now, 
We have got the DVD here, as I say, an hour's worth of tutorage there. It'll take you through some of the basics, but also as this is addition two, it will start to be a bit more progressive. And then we've got all of these chords. Let me show you everything you're gonna get here. So you've got your gorgeous sort of buttercup yellow, your appetite blue, gorgeous ivory white. You've got your tangerine there. Then you've got your sort of burnt umber, your golden tones and your ruby red. Hold on a second. <laughs> and then, we don't end it there. Now I should say each of these reels is 10 meters. And these are 10 as well, aren't they? Yeah, of course. I'll say, we've got all the um, vibrant colors. Now we've got the neutral tones as well. So you've got your chocolate brown, your, what's this one classified as? I can never remember. Uh, it's a safari bundle. So basically, they, they're your neutrals, aren't they? So you've got your sort of uh, chocolate brown, smoky brown, and your ivory white tone, if you like, or your sort of cream tone. So there you go. 100 metres in total, and you also get your macrame DVD. Maybe you missed out on the opportunity to own your macrame edition 2 previously. Wow. In fact, how about this? Maybe you want to encourage somebody to get started with the hobby of jewellery making. And, you know, sometimes investing in a whole kit where there's findings and um, different gemstones of all elaborate sizes, that could be seen as quite intimidating. But maybe you could get them the DVD. You don't have to give them all the cords. You can keep some of the cords for yourself, potentially, because the braiding techniques are actually probably a very good way to get started. Would you agree with that, Sarah? They are. They're very, um, they're very easy to get understand. The knot's very easy, and it's quite, although you're doing lots of different designs, they're actually quite repetitive movements. So once you've got them, then you can then sort of just change them to sort of suit yourself and to create your own mm. patterns. But when you're starting out, it's great you've got a DVD there to start yes. off with. You've got all the materials you need to get going. So you've got all the instructions, all the materials. You know, if you have got a few beads, brilliant. You might use them just along the way, but you won't need them to start off with. Do you know what I always find interesting with the braiding techniques is that you can actually probably get away with using some very, very vibrant colour tones because you always get a very professional tight finish, yes. as long as you do the knots correctly, of course. But, yeah. you know, when you've got 100 metres cord, you've got there's plenty, plenty of opportunity to experiment and even go wrong a few times. And with things there? like kamihimo and macrame and braiding, you can undo them if you go wrong. So, you know, it's not a problem. Of course, yeah. So it's not like you've crimped uh, no. something you've got to take all your gemstones off. You can just undo the knot and, yeah. and so go So you again. might just do one wrong and then you can just undo it and do it the correct way. I just want to show everybody a couple of, of macrame designs before we get the price on screen. I should say we need a limited number available on this and they are flying out the door. Lots of people getting twos and threes on this so that's really really nice to see that people are making the most of one PMP per day but if you do want to get involved with this you're not going to be disappointed it's an add it to your order price. Now if you were to buy this any other day in fact if you were to buy this in 60 minutes time all of these cords and the DVD would cost you £16.55. That's a good deal. Now, when you see our price, £16.55 will look considered. I can assure you, £16.55 for 100 metres of cord and this DVD is ridiculous value. I recently, I've already said this on air, but you know, we've got new viewers all the time. I recently went to an independent craft store and for a metre of their cords and ribbons, it was £1.30 per metre. And you know the prices always amaze me. The fact that you get so much in one particular bundle as well, sixteen pounds ninety-five is a fantastic price. You've got an hour's instructional DVD yes. there. You could pay more than that on its own for a DVD, crafting DVD, instructional Absolutely. DVD elsewhere. Yeah. So that is an amazing price. Forget having all the cords in yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. oh, just for the DVD. You're alone. exactly right. I totally agree. And when you see the price point, you're going to be mesmerised. Here it comes. Six pounds ninety-five. <laughs> so mm, we're talking about for a meter less than seven p per meter of cord, and that's without the DVD. So the DVD for free, 
less than 7p per metre of cord, that is some pretty ridiculous value there, especially, you know, as I say, I don't know exactly what the quality of the cords were. Well, I say that, although I did have a look at the cords and they, were, <laughs> they certainly weren't any better than these cords, but you know, I don't know, you know, the different business models for an independent craft shop. I don't understand, you know, how they have to come to their price points, but one pound 30 per meter is the kind of price I've seen from some independent shops. This is less than 7p per meter because you've got 100 meters of cord and your macrame DVD for 6.95. How many of this bundle do we have in stock? Okay, we had 100. We've got fewer than 50 remaining in stock. And that's because lots and lots of you are taking twos and threes of this. So congratulations. And look at these gorgeous designs as well. That's amazing. We're going to move this straight along. It's still in keeping with what we've been discussing because we're now going to give you the opportunity to add Sarah's Kumahimo DVD. This is edition two. So in the first one, you've taken everybody through the basics of Kumahimo, how to get started. Yeah. We took some basic patterns, some of the ones that people would be very familiar with, something like the eight strand round braid, we did all of those on the first uh, DVD. That sounds quite elaborate and yeah, intimidating, but actually... They're not, they're, they're, they're fairly gentle patterns and instructions on the first DVD. Okay. But the second DVD, if you are a complete beginner, do yes. not be put off if you haven't got DVD one, because I take everything it. from assuming you don't know anything about Kumihimo, anything about the braids, okay. how to set your disc up and things like that. And there is a great long section at the end of this DVD on finishing all of your braids as well. Which I see that. In fact, I'll just turn this round yeah. so we can see the different projects. Because yeah. as, as Sarah is rightly saying here, one of the key factors of this DVD is the final project, which is finishing touches. And I go through, I think, five different methods or four okay. or five different methods of finishing your Kumihimo, whether that be using ribbon clasps, um, the WAGS Y cone and wire endings, ribbon clasps, uh, your Kumihimo findings, knot findings, button findings, um, all finishing it all off for we you. We talk regularly about, you know, elevating your designs yeah. from being sort of homemade offerings yeah. to being handmade pieces of bespoke jewellery and I think a lot of the times the conclusion is it's all about the finish. It is. It's I mean, all about adding something different and not um, being habitual, I suppose, in the way you complete your designs, offering people a bit of character, yeah. a bit of your personality. And so this DVD will allow you to really elevate your designs, take them onto that next level, won't it? It will indeed. And the, the patterns on there as well are completely different to the ones on DVD one. Uh, we do, um, I've got them here, we do half the... Half flat braid? Yep, the half flat braid. 12 is, strand spiral design. Yep, yeah, so this one's the half flat. One with a little um, black with the red on there, with the little hearts if you... Oh, I love that. that. See, hearts. that's what yep. I mean about the finish you get with these techniques anyway. So the half flat's that one. The 12 strand spiral is this one here which is a little bookmark I've made. Okay. Um, so you've just got a little bookmark there. And then you've got, is it the Mariotsu? Um, I've got adding beads. Adding beads, so we've got beads yep. on a flat braid here, and I'll show you different ways of adding beads onto a flat braid. Eight strand shippoo. Yeah, the eight strand shippoo is this shippoo. one here, Apologies. which is a ladder style Kamihimo braid. So I don't know if you can pick that up, but there's like little gaps in the braid oh, where the chain's going that. through. So it's like a little ladder style braid. That's incorporated a bit more texture as well then, because you've got a different threading yeah. material in the centre. I yeah. like that. And then you've got the Mariyotsu. Very good, very good. I presume that's how we say it. I'm sure we've got some Japanese people screaming at the TV. <laughs> um, and that's this one here, which is a really fine Kamihimo braid. Oh, wow. So if you've always wanted to create a really fine braid, um, you can do that with this version, which is a four-stranded Kamihimo braid. And you can then, once you've got this made, you can then incorporate it into other Kumihimo braids, okay. or you might want to incorporate it into your macrame designs or your braiding designs. So some of these um, patterns lend themselves better to being incorporated into larger designs. Yeah, or, or you know, like if you just wanted a matching neckline piece like I've created there, mm -hmm. but you don't want a thicker braid that's got eight or 12 strands yes. in there, 
then that's an absolute ideal one for you. Because I suppose sometimes if the braid is too elaborate, it might detract from the gemstones, which should be the focal point of the design. However, like I say, I, th I really like the way the threads complement the gems more often than not, don't they? Yeah, and you could, you could take that piece of, of, of braid once you've made it, and instead of where I've wrapped the wire around the gemstones at the bottom, I could have wrapped the braid around there, the yes. Hemo braid instead. So you've got lots and lots to do once you've created these braids. And then as we say, the final section of the DVD is finishing touches, probably the key thing where it comes to actually completing your braided designs or your kumihimo designs and we've actually received a question from Sandra Ooh. it says can you suggest beads with holes big enough for wax cord please yeah um, things like um, agates normally mm -hmm. have a larger drill hole they in do, them yes. um, hematite normally has a larger drill hole in it um, so things like this I think this is um, hematite on here this one and I've got the satin cord through there um, so you know it's just have a look at what your gemstones are stranded onto normally if they're stranded onto a strand that's got a tassel on the end mm -hmm. they'll have a finer drill hole in them right so you're looking yes. for the ones that are either stranded onto cotton um, two or three strands of cotton through them or um, that have got um, a plastic strand through them. So agate typically, um, quartzes typically, they have larger drill holes. Um, so there's lots of gemstones there, things like that. So I was just thinking these, uh, yes. these large turquoise you'll, you'll get the satin and the wax core through there. What you'll need to do is to use a piece of beading thread um, to create a needle. And right, we've seen and that then before, you can just pull, pull it through. through. Yes, okay. Um, and you need to just make sure that you have the needle with the thread very far at the end, right at the tip of the wax cord, and you'll be able to pull that through. Absolutely. There you go. Great advice. I'll just show everybody the difference, actually. If you look at one of our Gems of Distinction strands, you can see here, uh, Superstar Buy is this strand of chrome upside this evening. Now, when you're dealing with these which are effectively jewellery quality gemstones when they've got this clarity to them it's a very very almost dangerous process to drill the hole more than once so it's yeah. sort of a a one time chance to get it right when you're drilling these gemstones and so it is a finer <coughs> gemstone now that what i really want to hone in on is the diameter of the thread can you see that's very very thin that's going through that now you can see here with the turquoise, which is a much denser gemstone, you can create the larger drill hole. You can see that's much, much thicker. In fact, that's um, a plastic yeah. thread, temporary thread that's gone through there. Oh, we're going to give everybody the opportunity to own this right now. And actually, just found those. ah, you found some agate. Yes, yeah, and that'd they be perfect. That just shows you the different Thank type you. of thread. And if they're individually knotted like that, normally the drill holes are quite yes. substantial through the gemstone. So there you go. Another perfect example of a gemstone which is a little denser and therefore a little bit more freedom to create a larger drill hole and then that's obvious because of the threads that have gone through there. Like yeah. Sarah said, there's probably three or four different cotton threads and through that, isn't there? definitely get one strand of the wax thread through there. Um, I had some gemstones yesterday in a kit on the morning show um, and I got two strands of the satin cord through them. So it just depends. They were a large gemstone but I got two strands of the satin cord through so okay. you may even get um, two or three of the wax cords. So slightly. it's strand dependent really. Yeah, you, definitely. You, you need to have a bit of a play with your gemstones. It, it is just sort of getting to know gemstones a little bit and the, the way that they, they're drilled as well and having a look at those strands. I can normally spot a strand a mile off that I can it's get. going to have a larger drill hole. That, that I can yes. get the cords through, but that's just through That's just practice. experience, isn't it? Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Finishing your sentences now. So I told you we're doing too many shows together. <laughs> but there you go. I'm just having a look at this wax cord. And we're saying it's got the larger drill hole. I love this colour combination mm. and this would be quite interesting maybe for a more masculine design. Yeah. Your son is, oh, is into his Kumihimo isn't he's he? He's absolutely Likes mad for Kumihimo. He, if, I, if I see, he sees me with my threads and my, my discs out, it's like, so if I've got a disc out like this, he comes over, he wants to see oh, what to I'm doing, what pattern, pattern it is, <laughs> what colour it is, and can I take over from you mum, you know, and he really wants to get involved. So he's now... Um, He's just about to turn 10, but he's picked up his first Kumihimo disc when he was six. Right, there you go. So, um, it See, this is where people say to me, like, oh, I, yeah. I wouldn't be able to do it, I couldn't take it up. You think, well, I'm not really taking that as an excuse. <laughs> I think you've got to have a try, that's the thing. It's not for everyone, but 
even if you're a little bit interested, I can tell you from experience and from speaking to a lot of our, well, well not just our experts, but our customers who come down to the workshops, it's all about having a go. And the second that you start to master the techniques, you get such a sense of achievement from that, yes. that it becomes more of an addiction than a hobby. And the people I've had on training courses um, before have quite happily sort of sent me messages after the course and said, I can't put my Kumihimo disc and plate down now. Thank you for showing me how to use it. I'm, I'm completely addicted. Do you know what, re um, our resident designer, Linda, she said this to me a couple of years ago when I was still the manager on the channel. She said that with every workshop, when somebody walks away from it, because she's been on a lot of these courses herself, and she said, when you walk away from it, the key of whether it's been successful or not is whether you want to do it when you get in. Yes. And most people go home and want to have another try. Yes. Okay, it. people already flying in at jewelrymaker.com to allocate this to their basket, so I'm going to have to uh, actually get the price on screen. This has only been on air once previously. 12 95 for over 5 100 carats of turquoise. These are your plain long tubes, and you get this gorgeous finish to the turquoise and this very versatile color tone. It'd be perfect for, well, unisex designs. But it's going to be very, very on trend in the summer months, I would think, because it probably lends itself to so many different designs. I mean, I'm just looking at this McCrary design here, and we've got these bright orange gemstones. I'm thinking they're carnelian or potentially agate. But the turquoise tones with those reds, those oranges, those golds, it's obviously gonna work with the blues and the greens. Yeah, I was just looking at all those thread combinations that we had earlier, and they, you can work with so many, whether you want to put the hot reds or the oranges together and the creams. They go well, so well with different gemstones. And don't be afraid to mix colors together with your, with your cords and your gemstones because I've picked quite bright colours mm. when I've made my samples, but actually, when you put them all together, they have a, a magical effect on each other of toning each other down or bringing one of the colours up and then taking the other ones down, and you just get this really nice mix. It's almost like you're mixing paints together a yeah. little bit. Well, I think you actually were the person that taught me that, because I used to look at the gemstones as sort of standalone, just because that's my background of looking at gemstones set into jewellery, but then I started to learn that you need to match it up with different gemstones to get a true appreciation of how it's going to look within yes. a, a number of different designs. That's it. Have a look at this for an eclectic item then. Oh my goodness. A whole bag of gemstones. I'm going <gasps> to tip them up very carefully. That's like this. being in a sweetie shop for me. It is just, you know, like when you get the pick and mix and you just, you can't pick and choose which how, ones you want to pick. How many of these have we got in stock? Ah, <laughs> oh, nowhere near enough to go around. Um, my producer just said these were really popular. Is it last night? Oh, when they were originally on air, sorry. So, um, over the weekend, these were actually launched and uh, they were really popular, were they? Well, I'm not surprised. <laughs> A whole bag of cabochons. And we've learnt over, I would say, the last 12 months or so, just how versatile these cabochons are. In fact, we used to stop them when I was the manager of the channel and I couldn't convince the designers to work with them. They weren't quite sure how to incorporate them into designs. All of a sudden, different wire workers started to work with them and just fell in love with them. Then along came Sutash. That was probably about 18 months, maybe two years ago when we originally launched Sutash. And now we can't get enough cabochons in stock at any one time. The first one I was given, I was given on, as a challenge, as part of a kit, and I actually made a Kumihimo bezel ah. that went around the cabochon. So you, you can do you see, so much with them. You see, I totally neglect so many different disciplines when we talk yeah. about cabochons because, of course, Sutash sort of brought them to the forefront. It did. Wire work sort of settings yeah. seem to suit the cabochon so well, but actually, well, yes, yesterday on the work. morning show, I did um, a rose quartz cabochon, which was uh, set with uh, macrame and satin cords. So it's another way of there doing it completely. So, so they're so really many versatile. Ways. So many different ways. And the key thing is, when you haven't got a drill hole, the, the technique itself becomes an integral part of the design, doesn't it? Yeah, and it just becomes, it enhances the gemstone. So you could choose to make um, 
for instance, a polymer clay setting with your extruder. Yes. Um, you could choose to do um, some basic wire work. Uh, you could choose to do some very elaborate prong setting wire work. You could choose to do, um, for instance, the flat kamihimo and make a bezel or a round kamihimo and make a bezel for it and then encapsulate it with your cords or wire. Um, you could do so many different things, you know. There are just, so many cabinets. Just using a, a gizmo here. coil outer setting and then just using a little bit of wire around the edge. That's a great a idea because we know how popular that look is now. Yeah. You've got 2,400 carats in total. I'm going to do a kind of estimate as to how many you'll get. <laughs> it will be difficult because there's so many cabochons here. Such a massive collection of colour tones, sizes, different banding on each gemstone as well here. Okay. Uh, well over 50 gems, cabochons. Right, that, that represents 50 cabochons. I've still got all of these left. So two, four, six, eight, 10, that's 60. Two, four, six, eight, 10, that's 70. 70 in total. So that works out based on the price point at less than 40p per cabochon. These are all genuine gemstones. These are multicolored quartz, but they really are multicolored. In fact, if anybody took advantage of that turquoise, we we're talking about how versatile the turquoise is. Have a look at this. That works for me. I'd want one of the pink ones. Yes, yeah. I was just gonna say that actually, because <laughs> actually everything pretty much works. It does. And you know, if, this is, if you're um, a jewellery maker out there that maybe you've lost your mojo a little bit, you've lost your way. Yes. I'd set yourself to get this and set yourself a challenge to set each one in a different way. Not a, different, not, a, not a completely idea. different style, but if you're a wire worker, to set each one in a different wire work So don't format. just use the same prong nope. setting on each yeah. one. Or try and develop a, a, and a bit more of an expansive yeah. um, group of techniques for setting the cabochons yeah. in. 37 pence per cabochon that's what it's going to work <laughs> out at another wholesale deal from us here on the late show 24.95 but just consider exactly what you're getting here 2400 carats of gorgeous quartz and actually you have to consider the time and the effort that's gone into creating these beautiful cabochons quite a, a time consuming polishing process We only had a limited number available. We do still have stock available. Lots of people coming through to get hold of these. If, even if you're in two minds and you're thinking, how am I ever gonna get through 70 cabochons, Ed? Trust me. Once you start to develop your different techniques for setting them into designs, like Sarah's saying, if you try to, even if you just select your 10 favorite cabochons out of, out of the selection, mm -hmm. think I'm gonna create a different wire setting for each of these, for example, you'll probably find that halfway through you're already developing new techniques would you say that's oh, definitely. probably the case i mean i can remember the first gemstone i ever set in wire and i'd never done it before and i thought how on earth am i going to set this and it was a square cut with a deep coulee mystic quartz which i beautiful got from your sister channel right. and i thought how on earth am i going to set this gemstone that's got no drill holes and I hadn't done any wire work before, and I sat and I played around with the wire and I played around with some ideas I had, mm -hmm. and I actually got it set, and I was just so absolutely over the moon that I'd managed to do it. I think that's when crafters learn more about themselves as jewelry makers, when yeah. they actually take themselves out of their comfort zone, Definitely. try to achieve something they've never attempted before, when you nail it. Yeah, that's Such it. Such a great sense of achievement. And you know, I've had people borrow that piece of jewelry off me for very sort of elaborate um, events, things like weddings, things like that, because it's quite a statement piece of jewellery. Mm -hmm. And you know, for, for people to want to, to either commission or to borrow a piece of jewellery you've made gives you such an enormous oh, sense absolutely. of... Absolutely, I can imagine. Yeah. Even when somebody said, would you uh, be prepared to create a piece of jewellery uh, for a charity auction, Ooh, I'll say. Yeah. Proud as punch, I Definitely. must say. Um, $24.95, I can tell you around about half of the stock's been allocated on this particular item. I mean, 
as I say, sometimes some of the price points look a little more considered, but when you consider this is a wholesale deal and you're getting on average 70 gemstones as part of a collection of over 2,000 carats of quartz, that is a wholesale deal not to be ignored. Around about half the stock's now been allocated, so if you do want to take advantage of this deal, start dialing that free phone number right now to take advantage. We're going to have to leave that one there. We're having lots of fun. And without further ado, it's time for a star buy. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. It's time for a star buy. We're going to have one of these exclusive opportunities every half an hour here on The Late Show. It's either going to be the premiere launch of a brand new strand, such as our chrome diopside, coming up at the end of the show. I'm a little bit in awe of this particular strand. So this is a premiere strand. This is coming up at the end of the show as our super star buy. And uh, 50 carats of chrome upside there, but just have a look at the kind of carat weights that we're getting. So that's coming up at around about quarter to nine as a premiere launch. The other star buy that we might have a look at is a discount bundle where we've taken a collection of gemstones, we've bundled them together to create a unique discount code so that we can offer you a massive saving. That's exactly what we're about to do. And I love these gemstones. Beautiful combination. And perfect for so many different popular motifs within jewelry making. Have a look at this. We're gonna start with these gorgeous Prainite Marquise cuts. 50 carats in total. These are traditional Marquise cuts. They're 12 by six mil, so twice the length as they are in diameter. Very, very wasteful cut, actually. Just have a look at this. These are so perfect for those sort of inspired by nature designs. These would make beautiful leaves. That's the way I'm looking at them. For me, it's all about the inclusions. I love these almost, almost rutilations. That's what they look like. And it just helps you to create bespoke jewelry designs because you know that each and every gemstone is totally individual. Again, it's almost as though Mother Nature's left those almost like paintbrush strokes inside the gemstone. That's the way I always see it. They look absolutely spectacular. But it adds a little bit of texture into your designs as well because you've got this smooth, polished finish to the gemstone itself. And then you've got these sort of alterations within the gemstone. Now, I love the fact that we've mirrored this effect on an opaque gemstone because have a look at the combination here of the red tiger's eye marquise cuts as well again they're 12 by 6 mil so you could use the red tiger's eye as your petals and the prey nut as your leaves perhaps within the design or if you like to maybe juxtapose that you could use the greens as your petals and the red tiger's eye as your leaves because there's no rules when you're creating a gorgeous piece of jewellery. Awesome, exactly right, there you go. So you've got complete freedom when you've got gemstones of two different types but in the same sort of cut. It really gives you the freedom to mix things up with your designs. So totally I'd agree. love to have that. I really. totally agree. And also the beauty of this is because of the, the chatoyancy within your red tiger's eye, you almost have the rutilations being mirrored in that because the way that the light moves across the surface of the tiger's eye can you see that so it almost moves across a similar banding that you get on the prey nut itself so i really love this as a combination and then just to set it off because everybody loves to work with rounds and i think you do need your rounds if you're working with your marquise cuts because they help to sort of hold it all together, don't they, Sarah? They do. They do. I mean, I would, I would use those as the centre point of my flowers as yes. well. So the you've got yes. so many different things you can do. But I, I love to have the little marquise drops coming from in between the rounds. Mm -hmm. And just you could put two or three with some little spacer beads and make little that. drops, like swags around the neckline. 
Um, you can do so many different things when you've got different gemstones in a, in a bundle like that. Because the rounds would be comfortable on the neckline and then of course the marquee yes. cuts, because their elongation look brilliant they as drops they from did. the necklace design. That's a great idea. So these are actually your blue coated quartz. They almost have a, they almost have a, um, it's quite an aquatic feel to them from the color toe. They're eight millimeters in size, giving you 80 carats. If you were to buy all of this individually, it would be well over 20 pounds. 23, 85, oh, 35, 23, 35, sorry. So well over 20 pounds. But this evening, we're gonna give you a star by opportunity. We're taking it under 15 pounds tonight to 14.95. So that is less than five pounds a strand for Prey Night, Tiger's Eye, and your coated blue quartz and you're making a saving of well over eight pounds so saving eight pounds on three very very high-end varieties of these gemstones and we know how popular those floral motifs are within jewelry making and these are the perfect gemstones for those designs 14.95 less than five pounds a strand i should say that this particular quartz is coming from our gems of distinction range so that is incredible value there under five pounds strand would normally cost you 23.35 but as part of this discount bundle you can add your order for 14.95 i'll have one last look before we move on there we go, look at that. I love the colour combination as well. So this is one of our discount bundles and that will be available for the next 60 minutes here on Jewelry Maker. We'll leave that one with you and we're going to move on because coming up at the top of the hour, it will be a premiere launch as a star buy. And this is ridiculous. Now, we know how popular Labradorite is. It's been voted as your favourite gemstone over the last two years. And it's all because of this optical effect, this gorgeous Labrador essence. And I can tell you that nobody has previously had the opportunity to own this strand. It's a premiere launch this evening. And I can tell you that despite the fact that we haven't seen this level of Labrador essence in a strand of Labradorite for well, I would say a couple of weeks. Maybe I've just missed all the good ones. But this is certainly one of the highest quality strands of Labrador I brought you for a few weeks. I'm going to launch that under £15. So that's coming up in about 20 minutes time. So that's one not to be missed. We know how popular that is. But we've got a, a lot to get through. We're going to move on. Look at this beautiful strand of rubies. Or is it... It's in fact the master of disguise, beautiful red spinel. The reason I say that, and regular collectors will know, that red spinel is often mistaken for rubies and has been throughout the eras really. In fact, we, um, we talk about this quite a lot and I must get an image to show everyone, but you can find it quite easily. Probably the most famous misclassification of this gemstone um, has occurred within our own crown jewels here in the UK. The Black Princess Ruby, which is the feature gemstone within the crown of the crown jewels. And it's actually not a ruby, it's a beautiful red spinel. It might just be that red spinel, on the whole, does tend to have a much more consistent colour saturation. Now, it's not only red spinel that has been mistaken for other gemstones and that's why it's known as the master of disguise as a gemstone family. You know, black spinel often mistaken for black diamonds, for example. But the, uh, one of the key differences with spinel as opposed to other prestigious gemstones is its uh, density on the most scale. And it's actually a little denser and it's easier to cut and polish because much easier to scratch a ruby or a diamond but spinel's a little bit a little bit tougher 
not only that, just have a look at this ridiculous colour saturation. You know, sometimes you'll see rubies and they have that slight sort of uh, pink or raspberry hue coming through, not necessarily that pigeon blood red tone. But with the red spinel, you can just see that rich, almost pomegranate red tone running through each and every gemstone. And obviously, through the sort of misclassifications that have occurred, Spinel is very, very prestigious in its own right. It still is the center stone of our crown jewels. You know, I said this last week, we had some Spinel actually. And, um, you know, when they realized that it was a red Spinel and not a ruby as they'd initially thought, they didn't take it out and put a ruby in. They left it exactly where it was. That's how beautiful it is. And that's why Spinel has really come to the forefront of a lot of designers thinking very very prestigious gemstone heavily used by top end designers these days and actually it's it's very rare to find over half a carat of red spinel but here of course we've got 15 carats on one strand now these are quite delicate because they do range in size from one mil to two mil so quite delicate offerings probably best used as accent gemstones but we've seen slightly larger offerings within rubies for example so if you've got some larger ruby rondelles i'd love the idea of actually using ruby and red spinel together in fact these red tigers i work really well with this spinel as well love this anybody who took advantage of the star by deal that incredible wholesale offer we gave you I love that combination because then you've got the sort of depth of colour from the tiger's eye and then you've got that vibrancy, that little pop, that colour bang if you like from the red spinel. Now this comes from our Gems of Distinction range, it represents the highest possible quality we can source for you and it's actually our Indian buying office who have managed to source this quality of red spinel for us. And this is the colour tone that you get from Red Spinel. This is not an enhanced gemstone. This is what it looks like. And as a result, you can sort of understand where these misclassifications occur, can't you? The other key thing with Spinel is that it tends to form in the same regions as other gemstones. So we actually source this strand of Red Spinel from Burma, which is traditionally um, a mining area for ruby. So if you saw this gemstone sort of glowing red inside a mine in Burma, you could be forgiven for thinking it was ruby. We are gonna give you an exclusive price reduction on this particular strand because we have only been left with a limited number in stock. Let's have a look at our current price. 49.95 for 15 carats of red spinel. So we're talking about some serious value here. When we talk about value, we're not necessarily talking about the lowest possible price. We're talking about the best price for the best quality. And that's what you want to be able to offer your loved ones if you're creating beautiful designs for you know, your family members or your friends to give us gifts. Or of course, if you are selling your designs on the open market, it may be that you actually have a very well educated customer base. They may already be well aware of Red Spinel's history, if you like. Should be $49.95 in 60 minutes time. It will return to that price, but right now we're giving you a £10 price reduction. Now, if you've already got an order up and running with us here at Jewelry Maker, and you're working on that elite level where your customers are demanding the most prestigious gemstones on the planet, this is your best opportunity to get hold of it. Now that does not mean you've made a final decision. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got a 30 day money back guarantee, absolutely quibble free, so you can get this gemstone home, you can see it in the flesh, like Sarah's advising, you can match it up with other gemstones and get a true appreciation for how it's gonna look within your designs before you make your final decision. You can add this to your order right now for 39.95, which in fact, represents a £10 price reduction. You know what that means? You'll have £10 to invest in another strand this evening. We're gonna move on. Oh, this is absolutely spectacular. How many of these have we got in stock? 
we've only got double figures again. This is a premier launch, isn't it? We've never brought this particular strand to you previously. And the only reason that this isn't our superstar buy tonight is that we only have a limited number available. Sometimes, yeah, we are at the mercy of Mother Nature. Now, I think sometimes here at Jewelry Maker, because we're so successful in sourcing the rarest gemstones on the planet, people start to get a little bit blasé about exactly what we're doing here. We have to wait, you know, tens of thousands, even millions of years for Mother Nature to create these gemstones. And then it's not an easy process mining for gemstones. It's very, very difficult. And then, of course, actually, that's a great point. Director Ben just said, and of course, it's a very expensive process. Of course it is. If you think about the level of machinery and the man hours that are involved, and of course, you know, it's actually quite dangerous on occasions going mining. All the mines that we actually source our gemstones from, we tend to have a personal relationship with the miners because we're part of the genuine gemstone company. So we always have a good idea of, you know, the, the different um, standards that the miners are working to, but it's still a difficult job. I mean, I wouldn't fancy going down these mine shafts. It'd be nice to go and experience it for a day, but to do it for a living for your life, it would be quite difficult, wouldn't it? It would. I mean, you know, it's I just I, always amazes me. I, I, every time I use a genuine gemstone, I just try and remember where it's come from and That's how, it, exactly how it. difficult it is to get it to me. And I actually think that that's part of maybe why people get a little bit blasé about what we're doing. Because of course, once it's been mined, it has to be shipped across to our cutting factory. So all, all of our experienced lapidarists basically be let to work on this and look what's been achieved here. Another gorgeous Marquise cut. This time the range in size from six by three to nine by five. 40 carats in total. Now this is another example of the master disguise. Black spinel often mistaken for black diamonds. And you can actually, you can get more luster from a spinel than you do from a black diamond. I mean, just look at that. It is such high quality. And the other thing is, with black diamonds, you tend to get quite a lot of inclusions and pitted pittings within the gemstones. That's what we're talking about. Spinel being a little denser, doesn't scratch as easily. And so you get this beautiful finish to the surface of a gemstone, that high polished finish that allows that reflective quality to really come through within your designs. This is one of the most high quality strands of spinel we've had. I love the way it's been faceted because you've got almost irregular faceting on the surface of a gemstone, which is allowing that light to bounce around in lots of different directions basically giving us lots of sparkle. Now, as I say, we only have a limited number available. That's why this wasn't a star by offering. And if you got hold of the red spinel at 39.95, then this is the perfect combination. And amazingly, amazingly, we are gonna be offering you this black spinel, despite the fact that you've got much higher carat weight for a lower price. What kind of price point would you expect to pay for this strand of black spinel, Sarah? Oh, crikey, that's so... Oh, don't worry, I don't think you'll be able to undermine the stat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I would be looking at probably nearer 20 pounds, I would imagine, because they're beautiful. They're almost like black diamonds, aren't they? You know, Absolutely. They've got that I, I love spinel anyway, because of all, all the beautiful qualities that it has. So, I mean, yeah, I think you'd be looking towards so you're 20. You're going 90, yeah. 95 then? Yeah, I, I'd, be, I'd quite happily pay that for it, because I can see this working really, you know, with all your higher end, gems of distinction strands, you know, if you've got those, some of the cut collection where you've got those beautiful um, cut gemstones where you get three on the strand, these would be a beautiful partner for those. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I can imagine those classic yeah. monochrome designs being really enhanced by the use Definitely. of this strand spinel. Okay, we've got another jewellery designer in the studio tonight. We're very privileged because Sam on cameras, as we've all, we've all met you now, Sam, you've brought some of your necklaces on screen. What would you expect to pay for this strand of spinel? I agree with Sarah, but 
14.95, even that can't undermine the stat. It should, and anywhere else I think it would. I think other people would say, Sam, come on, it's 17.95. You must be crazy to think it was going that price. Have a look at the price point we can give you tonight. <laughs> Sam's not on cameras anymore. She's outside ordering her strand of flax for now. Sarah's not going to risk it. She's on screen. <laughs> 6.95. Now that is an exclusive launch price for this evening, and it, well, I would think it's going to be a sellout at that price point. 6.95. As I say, we only have a limited number. Only double figures of availability, and not 99 either. <laughs> So if you do want to get involved with that, that for me is an added to your order price. And the reason that I actually use that phrase is of course that here at Jewelry Maker, we offer you one PMP per day. So if you paid your £2.95, you can add as many items to your order as you wish for that one postage and packaging price. Now, what happens if you get it home and you think, hold on a second, this isn't exactly right for my design. I need something a little larger. I need something... Actually, I can't see anybody thinking this about the spinel, but let's say you do. I'll, give, I'll, give, I'll play devil's advocate and say that Eva thinks that she can go into a lab and create a gemstone that has even more luster than a black spinel. I don't know why I picked on Eva. It was just the name at the top of the list. What's she going to do? She's stuck with this strand of black spinel. She's stuck with 40 carats of black spinel that she only paid 6 95 from. What on earth is she going to do? Send it straight back. She's got a 30-day quibble-free money-back guarantee here at Jewelry Maker. I honestly believe that I don't think we'll get one strand of that sent back. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, <It's> the quality <laughs> is ridiculous. Have a look at the way it's been faceted because, again, like we're saying, because spinel's a little denser, less inclined to scratch than, for example, a black diamond, you can see how confident the lapidarist has been in working with this gemstone. And the more facets that you have on the surface of a gemstone, the more play of light you're going to get, the more luster it's going to exude. And that's exactly what you've got here. I mean, it, do you know what? This is, for me, this is like an Audrey Hepburn strand. Do you know what I'm saying? This is a breakfast at Tiffany's look. I'm such a loser, I love Audrey Hepburn. <laughs> I'm obsessed with the woman. Okay, there's so many people multi-buying this. Congratulations to Zena, Janice, Kate, Sandra, June, Diane. They're just the people that have taken two. Everybody else, if you want to get involved with this deal, we've got around about 20 strands remaining in stock of black spinel for 6 95 Do your own research. Have a look at the kind of prices you can pay elsewhere for black spinel of this quality, faceted to these standards. I'm going to have to leave that one with you because, as I say, we are now approaching single figures of availability. But while there's some left in stock, you can add it to your order. Moving on to, sorry. Oh, wow. How beautiful. This is a, a, another classic combination, isn't it? The sort of def, uh, daffodil yellow, sorry, and the jet black tones. Love that. Canary sapphires and black spinel. Design's done for you. It is, it's another nature's design really, isn't it? I'm, bumblebee? I'm, bumblebees. Sunflowers? They're all, they're all in my garden at the moment, bumblebees. So there's no lack of them in my garden. Oh, they're all in my garden because <laughs> every five seconds I hear a two-year-old scream and say, A bee came near me, Daddy. Go and punch him. <laughs> my son had a thing about spiders being in the garden. And I said, well, if they were in the house, I could chase them out. But the garden is their home, so they just have to live there. They were here first. Yeah. They were here first. Okay, we're now going to give everybody the opportunity to own canary sapphires. Not an opportunity we have every day here on Jury Maker, and actually, not an opportunity that we have as an industry as a whole at the moment because coloured sapphires are becoming very difficult to source. And we know that here at the Genuine Gemstone Company because the owners of the company are real life gem hunters, jet all over the world to source yeah you just you just um 
Yeah, you just um, cut me back while I was catching flies or bees. <laughs> no, my jaw hit the desk then. Have a look at that recording again. Now, when you have a look at our recordings, this is much closer to daylight than our studio lights are. So it's a much more accurate representation of what you're gonna see when you set this gemstone into a jewelry design. That is out of this world. And of course, yellow sapphire is another gemstone which is traditionally mistaken for a very prestigious gemstone. Yellow sapphire is often mistaken for canary diamonds. Probably one of the most popular colour tones within coloured diamonds. I think yellow diamonds, I've actually bought my mum some yellow diamonds from our sister channel, Gems TV, going back a few years now, but she was made up, as you would expect. And when you give the opportunity for someone to own any of the big four, it's a special time, isn't it? Oh gosh, yes. But particularly in some of these very sought after and maybe rarer varieties of the gemstones. That's exactly right, actually. Ben makes a great point. Director Ben's on fire this evening. He just said, you know, when you present somebody with some yellow sapphire jewelry, they don't necessarily have the same depth of knowledge that you do. In fact, traditionally, people don't know everything there is to know about gemstones, do they? They basically are aware of the big four most of the time. So not only have we got one of the big four here, some people might not even be aware that there are yellow sapphires. They might think that no. sapphires are blue. It took me, well, it was one of the things that I learnt just before I joined Jewelry Maker. So it wasn't, I'd, you know, I'd been around, oh, right, I'd okay, had, yeah. owned a lot of jewellery and things like yeah. that, but I didn't know sapphires came in all these different colours. Mm. And it was just a real eye opener that they, they were the most amazing colour palette, but they were all sapphires. And I was oh, like, I had to have some of them in my life. And these are so vibrant, they're so beautiful. They're so full of happiness that I just love to have those in my collection. That's a key thing that you just said because I've mentioned this on there before as well. But you know, as I say, we get new buyers every day here at Jewelry Maker. We're talking about the psychology behind different colours and how yellow is a colour that promotes happiness and positivity. It's probably not that far of a reach for people to understand that really, because obviously when the sun's out, people tend to be happier, don't they? And oh, this yeah. is the kind of feeling that a gemstone like this will evoke. Particularly if you wake up and it's a bit of a dreary morning and <laughs> if it's the winter months as well and you've got to put all your scarf and your woolly hat on and stuff, if you know that underneath it all you're wearing your canary sapphires, it's going to give you that warm sunny feeling. Now, I've just been told some very interesting information. On Saturday, I was away and Ali filled in on the show. So she, she sort of fluttered her eyelids and the producer Okay, so no, 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 nothing to do with her. He just wanted to give everybody an amazing deal. Okay, okay. My producer offered you an extraordinary price reduction on Canary Sapphires here on Saturday night, and he's going to honour it tonight. Ooh. Should be thirty nine ninety five. Well, I say that. I'm not sure it should. <laughs> <laughs> we can bring you them at thirty nine ninety five here on Jewelry Maker. Wow. A £15 price reduction down to £24.95 for 15 carats of yellow sapphire. As I say, this is a gemstone which we are having a little bit of uh, trouble sourcing as an industry, as a whole. But here at Jewelry Maker, we still have some in stock and we've just offered you a huge reduction down to £24.95. That is essentially what I would describe as a clearance price, but for one of the most prestigious gemstones on the planet. And the opportunity potentially to offer your customer base something that they're not going to find on the high street in the coming year. And of course, it's September's birthstone, so always important to stock up on your birthstones when you can. Maybe these are the kind of birthstones, so when people think, oh, but my birthday's in April or my birthday's in September, we still bring you diamonds and sapphires here at Jewelry Maker and we can still provide you with incredible prices but only for the next 60 minutes so in say 59 and a half minutes time this is going to go back up to 39.95 if you already have a pmp up and running my advice would be to get this home appreciate it in the flesh and then make an informed decision because well i just hate for anybody to miss out on that huge reduction 24.95 and it's going to look 
like that when you get it home. Absolutely out of this world. I'm gonna have to leave that one there. And we've got to go and do a star bite. We've got so many amazing products still left in this hour. It's star bite time. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Time for another star buy, and on this occasion, it is going to be the premiere launch of a brand new strand, and it's going to be a popular one. 45 carats of Labradorite. We've never seen this strand before, and the Labradorescence is exceptional. You can see that each and every gemstone just glowing with beautiful Labradorescence. And actually, it's quite interesting because I think traditionally we get that sort of um, quite saturated sort of electric blue tone here. A lot, a lot of these gemstones have got a sort of almost sky blue labradorescence about them and you've got sort of lime greens coming through. I haven't actually seen this sort of a blue hue come before. It's a much lighter tone of labradorescence than we're used to seeing. Of course, different light sources are going to affect that labradorescence in different ways. So. Here, where you've got a much lower level of light, you're getting more of those electric blues coming through. But here, where you've got greater light sources in the studio, you're getting that sky blue. This is absolutely exquisite. And I can tell everybody out there that we are gonna launch that, this at under 15 pounds. And of course, the second the graphics hit the screen, you can start dialing our free phone number to get involved. Put yourself to the front of the queue. You can always change your mind, you can always put the phone down, but once it's sold out, that's it, it's gone. Now, these are quite a significant size. They range from nine by seven to 13 by six. And that would lend itself so well Oh wow, sorry, I've just been a bit distracted. I was thinking of the matching sets you could create, but I just saw this sort of apricot labradorescence. Look at that. Again, that's another color tone that's not that familiar to us when we're looking at labradorescence. It's almost a golden tone ranging into sort of a peachy color. So actually, this is really interesting because we talk a lot about you know color matching, color graduating with our gemstone strands. Here, you can actually color match the optical phenomenon within this gemstone. So you can match up the maybe the two 9x7 mils that have the lime green labradorescence, the two 9x7s that have the sky blue labradorescence to create beautiful earring designs. That'll enable you to maximize on the potential profit you can make from a strand like this. And, and I think that's why the gemstone labradorite is so popular with jewelry makers because when you're selling your jewellery, I suppose you tend to be selling to people that aren't necessarily armed with huge sums of money because they are at a craft fair. They're probably, you know, at a local venue on a Saturday morning. They haven't brought, you know, 190 pounds to invest in a Labradorite pendant or necklace, but they might have a five or a tenner in their wallet. And if you've got those affordable items like droplet style earrings, People usually will be like, yeah, a new pair of earrings for a fiver, bespoke, handmade, never seen this gemstone before, never experienced this optical phenomenon that you get from it. That's when you're more likely to make a sell. Wow, just have a look at that gemstone there. That is basically the epitome of what you're looking for from Labradorite. 45 carats in total, never been seen before. This could be a sellout strand this evening. I've already got people multi-buying this strand, so congratulations. And that's phone buyers who haven't even seen the price yet. Well, you're not gonna be disappointed because this evening it's going at under 10 pounds. 9.95, another exclusive launch price for us tonight on The Late Show. Wow, we've had two premier strands in the opening hour, both of which have gone under 10 pounds. That just goes to highlight exactly what we do here at Jewelry Maker and at the Genuine Gemstone Company as a whole. Now, 
And what name is the uh, what's the name of the customer who's text in a great suggestion? Jennifer from Bristol has suggested that the next time that the owner of the company, Steve Bennett, is jetting off to visit the mines, that he should take the big dog with him. I have to agree with Jennifer. I think, you know, an all expenses paid trip for Ed would be a fantastic thing to invest in, Steve. <laughs> No, I don't think it's going to happen, is it? I think they need to take the designers first. The designers! <laughs> Everyone's at it. Everyone's on the tape today. Even the customers. Look at the value that you're getting hold of. 45 carats of Labradorite for 9.95. That's the way to take advantage of the Genuine Gemstone Company. 9.95 for 45 carats here. So we're talking about nearly, well, four and a half carats for a pound. Have a little bit of uh, a look online. Do your own research. See what kind of prices you can pay just for a Labradorite pendant and see if you can get a four and a half carat Labradorite pendant for a pound. Doubtful. Very, very doubtful. But, you know, that's the buying power we have here at Jewelry Maker. It's all thanks to your loyal custom. We've expanded, well, very very quickly at a rate of knots over the last four years here at Jewelry Maker and uh, yeah we tried to thank you with our fourth birthday celebrations by giving everybody incredible deals all day you were involved with the birthday show Sarah weren't you yeah, Jeff, I was, yeah I was on at 10 o'clock in the morning so I had a great time oh and then you were finished in oh, well, time to party all day I know my, my son <laughs> and my husband were just down the road um, so I went to join those them for the afternoon so I had go, a great, mo great morning here stayed and had a bit of lunch and then went off to join them so it's a lovely oh, day nice nice yeah. But, you know, we do try to thank our customers every single day for their customer, and we do that by giving you the best value on the market for genuine gemstones. The reason that I say to look for such a, a large carat weight for the price point we're giving you is that for me, just have a look at the finish on these gemstones. They're faceted to perfection. You're getting a really significant carat weight on each and every gemstone and you're getting it all for under £10. That is an exclusive launch prize to us this evening here on The Late Show. It's a star buy, in fact, and we're gonna have one of those every half an hour. We're gonna go to a quick break. We'll be back in just two minutes, but stay tuned because the deals are gonna keep coming. Don't go away. Join guest designer Gemma Crow for our Adventures with Beading Thread DVD. Gemma will guide you through a variety of techniques from basic to more advanced ways you can use beading thread, including how to create flowers, weaving and plaiting techniques, and much more. To get your hands on a copy, simply contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. join guest designer Natalia Coleman and learn how to use fashion leather to create stunning pieces of jewellery. Natalia will guide you through the process of working with the leather to create four unique and different designs. This workshop is perfect for beginners. No previous experience of jewellery making is necessary. The full course includes a selection of leather sheets, a variety of leather findings, use of gold, silver or copper coated wire, a bead scoop, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and museum, and a chance to visit the shop. All of this for just £99.95. and pence. For further information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Join guest designer and polymer clay expert Debbie Bulford for our Extruder DVD. Debbie will guide you through a variety of techniques including how to create geometric patterns, the soutache and lace look and much more. To get your hands on a copy, simply contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Join Jewelry Maker and guest designer Mark Smith for our long-awaited macrame workshop. 
get to know the essential techniques and knotting formations to create these vastly popular designs. Learn square stitch, twist stitch, slip knot and much more. The full course includes a range of different threading materials, a selection of gemstones, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our gemstone museum. All of this for just $79.95. For more information, contact our call center on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Welcome back to Jury Maker. This is The Late Show. My name's Ed and I'm also joined by the very talented Sarah. Are you alright Sarah? I am, I am, thank you. What are you working on over there? Um, I'm playing with a little bit of a Kumihimo pendant type thing, see. but we'll see how it goes. It's, it's, it's coming to shape. Okay, so you're working with one of our kits. I am. So we're going to be uh, bringing you one of our jewellery kits at around about 8pm this evening. So we've given Sarah a few hours to come up with some inspirational designs for us all. And uh, you like the, the look of what's in the kit, Sarah? Yeah, when I was given this kit, I just said, who put this together? Because it's just so oh, me. Oh, actually, I was in the room. You said, this has been designed for me. Yeah, <laughs> so me. Um, love it. Absolutely love it. And to be fair, producer Liam did say that he had designed it with you in he mind. He had, didn't yeah, you say? yeah. So absolutely brilliant. I love That's it. That's great. Because um, actually, a lot of your favoured items are very, very popular, aren't they? Like purple tones, yeah. things like that. Yeah, so, so and it's got... It's got real quality really through this kit so it's just amazing the gemstones are fabulous i love the findings everything about the kit is just amazing so oh god really look forward to seeing your designs then not long to go we'll be over with sarah from about 8 p.m give everybody the opportunity to get hold of one of our jewelry kits now if you don't know what that is i'll take you through everything you get but the idea is that you're going to receive everything you need to get started with the hobby or to create a beautiful set of jewelry so we're going to be doing that later in the show Within the final hour, we will also be launching our superstar buy. This gorgeous strand of chrome diopside. And it is out of this world. The clarity, the colour, the organic cuts. I, mean, I, I just don't remember seeing the organic cuts of chrome diopside. Well, ever. I, I honestly don't. I think we've had nuggets before as in, uh, not nuggets, sorry, as in chips. Mm. You know, the tiny, tiny little chips. And we've had flat drops and faceted drops, but they're always a uniform shape, traditionally. These are gonna work for so many jewelry designers out there. As you would expect with chrome diopside, I only have a limited number. But, the price point that I can bring you this evening it will be an exclusive launch price, of course. It's coming up at 8.45 p.m. My advice would be to get this home and see it in the flesh before you make a decision because I think that the second you lay your eyes on this or you get it in your hands, the creative juices are gonna start flowing. Chromed upside has been one of those gemstones that traditionally has received quite high independent valuations when our jewellery makers have taken their jewellery for valuations. So chrome upside could be an interesting gemstone to start working with. A super star buy coming up at 8.45 p.m. I do have a star buy every half an hour. And coming up in, oh my word, just 15 minutes time is a wholesale deal on jump rings. So a beautiful selection of jump rings here. Rose gold, silver in two different sizes as well. So anybody who's interested in chainmail, for example, maybe you're inspired by um, Debbie's, was it the fifth part of Debbie's chainmail adventure on Sunday? That could be a worthwhile addition to your order this evening. But before that, we are gonna try and find and add it to your order price for everybody out there so that you can maximize on our one PMP per day opportunity. And where are we gonna start, sorry? We'll start with this gorgeous rainbow champagne quartz. Now the rainbow part is a reference to a coating that we've placed on the surface of a gemstone that allows this sort of colour play to occur, almost the same as what you would see, a sort of oil on water effect, almost what you see when you're blowing bubbles if you like. 
Do you love this? It's mesmerising. I love the effect. It just draws you so far into the gem. It just you want to to look right into the heart of the gem today when you have this beautiful addition. That is such a, a great way to describe the coating that you get because it's it almost creates a sort of playful finish to the gemstone that, as Sarah rightly says, draws you in and then you get to appreciate this sort of opulent golden hue that you mm. get from the gemstone itself. So it works in so many different ways, this particular gemstone. Yes, you could use it in those sort of contemporary, almost funky light designs because you've got these fuchsia tones and blues and greens thanks to that coating, but that effect is really gonna make an impact in certain light sources, whereas that beautiful champagne color tone that you get from the gemstone is ever present. And so it works on so many different levels. If you combine that with the fact that these have got so many facets on the surface of a gemstone, you cannot fail to see what a massive impact these are going to make on your jewellery designs. On top of that, they are very, very significant size. They range from 11 by 5 to 16 by 12, and we are going to give you a clearance price tonight. Currently available on our website for 11.95. We're not going to stay there. For the next 60 minutes, you can add this to your order with a slight reduction. Taking it under £10, 9.95, trying to make these gemstones as accessible as possible. And you know, it's these smaller savings that allow you to maybe achieve slightly higher profit margins yourself. 9.95 for 170 carats of gorgeous champagne quartz with this very beautiful rainbow coating almost provides the gemstone with a very mystical-like finish, doesn't it? Absolutely exquisite. I mean, again, the gemstones are so large that you don't need to use a lot of them in your designs. In fact, they could be the focal point of your design. 9.95 is our clearance price this evening for this strand of rainbow-coated champagne quartz. We're gonna move on. We're going to move on to these beautiful blue quartz. These have a very vivid colour tone. Almost uh, a sort of tanzanite blue, if you like. Love these. Again, you've got that very organic finish to the gemstones because of the irregularities in the shapes. These are classified as nuggets, but they are very large. They range in size from 14 by 10 to 18 by 11. So again, going to provide you with a sort of organic finish to your designs but because they've got this high polished finish on each gemstone no one's going to mistake them for synthetics they're going to realize that they're dealing with the with the real deal here absolutely beautiful 150 carats in total coming from our gems of distinction range and we've got a very special price for you if you want to get involved with this deal, start dialing that free phone number right now. Oh, my producer's just checking something, he says. Now here at the Genuine Gemstone Company, it's sort of our remit to provide you with the best value on the market for Genuine Gemstones. And this particular strand has never previously been available as an individual strand. It's always been featured as part of boutique bundles that have generally been put together by our project managers or our designers themselves. And as a result, we're going to give you an exclusive launch price. So should be $9.95. But again, my producer is going to give you a bit of a saving. This is the way to really maximise on that one PMP per day, down to 7.95. Wow, because that's a huge carrot weight. And just have a look at the size of the gemstones. They are going to make a very significant impact on your jewellery designs. Of course, that very popular colour tone as well, because blues do tend to feature very heavily in people's jewellery collections. So what, producer Dion would snap your hand off for this at 7.95. 
She'd be running through here. A clearance price this evening, only available for the next 60 minutes, of course. This is quite interesting, actually, because when you look at the base of the gemstone, you get more of those royal blues. At the top, you get more of those sort of icy glacier blues. So, again, very, very versatile. And that's the great thing about gemstones. So when you move, you get different properties coming from them. Mm. So when you put this into, for instance, if you made earrings from them, as the light and they turned on the head pin or however you made your earrings on the wire, you would see all of those different properties. Nice. And it's really nice when you've got a gemstone like this to let light get behind it. So Absolutely. if you're putting it into, say, for instance, a bangle, you might want to build it up so there's a little bit of light can get underneath where the, underneath the wrist line just to let that light come through. It's so beautiful. It's exquisite, isn't it? Yeah. And I would actually match this up with a number of different gemstones because you've got a lot of gemstones on the strand itself. They are quite significant. Have a look at this, the blues and the purples from the amethyst here, that works rather good. You see this amethyst is another premier strand coming up at the top of the hour. Love that as a combination. Beautiful blue quartz available right now for $7.95 at a clearance price. We're going to move on and this time we're going to give you a very exciting finding offer. Now these are little stardust rondelles. Now these are 925 sterling silver, little sort of donut shapes, but then they've been given rose gold plating and this little sort of stardust finish, if you like. Beautiful, can you see that? Hopefully we can appreciate that. It's sort of a sparkly little finish to the joke, uh, to the finding itself. Can you put a couple on there? Ah, thank you. Everybody's starting to appreciate how bad I am with tweezers now in the designer's light edge. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think that when you're working with findings like this, this is the way to really set yourself apart from other jewellery makers out there. You know, I think traditionally when people are creating craft work and handmade jewellery designs, they, no they don't necessarily think about the attention to detail so there's a lot of base metals that get used within yeah. the, the crafting world but of course here at Jewelry Maker we want to allow you the opportunity to offer your customers very very high-end pieces of jewelry and these are the kind of findings that it will I think enhance your designs and lift them onto that next level because you've got sometimes certain gemstones will detract from maybe the focal point of your gemstone. So sometimes a bit of a metallic tone or a finding that just offers you something a bit different, something that you wouldn't see every day on the high street that will actually set you apart. And that's important, isn't it? Because if you're creating bespoke jewelry designs, people want to know that they're investing in something totally individual. These are very, very high end. We're talking about 925 sterling silver, which is been plated with rose gold which again offers you a few different design opportunities because of that bit of femininity or that warmth that you get from rose gold and then you've got that sparkly stardust finish as well they're five by three mil in size you get 30 in total and let's have a look at the current price wow so they're already under 10 pounds for a huge amount of rose gold plated sterling silver and not only that but findings that really are going to make an impact on your designs down to 6.95 this evening i already had lots and lots of people getting involved at 9.95 so now down at the clearance price we've effectively handed you back the equivalent of your pmp &P this evening so and add it to your order price once again. If you've already got a PMP &P up and running, what are you waiting for? Start dialing that free phone number right now, or alternatively, click to buy now at jewelrymaker.com to make the most of these incredible deals this evening. $6.95 for rose gold plated sterling silver. Talk about this quite a lot, but you know, the impact of the prices on precious metals 
can be very far reaching, not just within the jewellery world, you know, it can affect the price of a pint of milk. Because oh, yeah. people trade, don't they, on the prices of gold and silver all day long on the world's financial markets. And that it does have implications further down the line for all of us. And so the only reason that I, I mention that to jewellery makers is that that has an impact on everybody's daily lives. Obviously, as jewellers, as jewellery makers, it could have a much higher impact say in 12 months time, I don't know that we'll be able to offer these same clearance prices. 6.95, a clearance price for rose gold plated sterling silver. Lots and lots of people getting involved for that particular deal. And I'm just gonna quickly tidy these up. There we go. We'll move on. And we're gonna now offer you a gemstone that will provide you with character and attention to detail within your designs. And actually, it's gonna do a lot of the work for you. These are huge five petal adventuring carved flowers. Do you know what? Sometimes when I look at the color tone within adventuring, it really reminds me of um, the color you see in jade. Very much so, except it's all it's got it's got that added extra because it's adventuring. It's got that sort of extra sort of little little sparkle in there. Actually, you're right, yeah, because you and get those slight little speckly inclusions, yeah. Where the name comes from, the adventure essence. Yes. So, you know, it just gives you that extra little bit. So if you love the colour of jade, you love that traditional Chinese jade colour, mm -hmm. and these are brilliant because they've got even more to offer you. They've got the colour, you've got a fantastic cut there which I absolutely adore these flower cut beads. And then you've got that extra little sparkle in there, which is just brilliant. And actually, um, jade and jadeite, quite a generic term <coughs> in China. And yeah. the reason that they refer to it in such a generic way is that traditionally when they find a gemstone that is dense enough to carve with, they classify it as, as jadeite. Here we've got adventuring, but it does have a similar density. And as a result, just have a look at the attention to detail from our lapidary work here. The carvings are beautiful. And again, that's gonna feed into your designs. In fact, again, if you got hold of those Prey Night Marquise Ooh, cuts yeah. earlier in the show, definitely, that'd be a fantastic combination, wouldn't it? And these are great if you're not a great wire worker, but you want to do a little bit of wire work, mm -hmm. because the wire Is that because it'll fit into the in petals? Between those <laughs> petals <laughs> that's a great idea. So you can hold that gemstone, you can kind of make a faux prong set, if you like, yes. without having to have that the, skill that of the actually wire. having to hold the gemstone yeah. in place and you know, yes. so you can do um a piece where you'd have five prongs coming up to, to capture where the flowers are carved yes and you could do little little They'll spirals just, on the yes. top or whatever you wanted to do as a little little accents but these are great that neckline is pieces. a fantastic idea so really this yeah. is like a the big uh, beginner the wire work beginners perfect strand isn't yeah. it because if you've if you manage to get those cabochons earlier and you want to practice on something about capturing a gemstone, yes. again, these are great to do that because you've got little anchor points to be able to, to, to sort of capture your gemstone to start off with, but you'll learn all those techniques that you need for those cabochons by capturing working these. With these. That is a fantastic idea. So this is basically a training strand, if you like, but yeah. that's gonna make a huge impact on your designs. These Definitely. are 24 mil in size and I've already got lots of people getting involved at jewelrymaker.com. If you want to add these to your order, start dialing that free phone number right now because we are gonna offer you a clearance price. Sam has very nicely got me that strand of prey night so I can show you how well it would work. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. So it's currently available for 8.95, wow. I mean, over 400 carats of any gemstone for 8.95 is ridiculous value, but when you consider that these have been hand carved into these gorgeous five petal flowers, wow. <laughs> I told you, we go above and beyond here at Jewelry Maker to provide you with the best value on the market for genuine gemstones. And even when you can see a very labor intensive strand like this, where, you know, just to get hold of 400 carats of venturine, not an easy task, but- How many on that them. strand? So I'll, I'll count them for you, Sarah. Because I'm Let's looking see. at that and thinking pendants, rings. 16 in total. Watch style bracelets with a macrame strap or a kumihimo strap. 
And I'm thinking, if so you've you're just come up with five different designs instantly. <laughs> if you're into your charity work, mm -hmm. you're into selling your jewelry, you're into gifting your jewelry, that price is amazing because yeah. you have on there sorry how many did you say there were? 16, 16. On this strand, yeah. so you've either got 16 gifts yes 16 charitable donations yes or 16 opportunities to sell your jewelry if you wish to use them singly and i i just think at that price that is just the most amazing thing so it's just a, i love it Fantastic. I need those in my life. <laughs> you know, yes. <laughs> She's a traditional jewellery maker phrase there. You Magpie. need these in your life. Especially at the clearance price of 4 95 How many of these do we have in stock, producer? Okay, so round about 50 in stock. But they are quickly flying out the door. I'm not surprised because as Sarah rightly says, the price point is spectacular. 4 95 It is a clearance price. It's only available for the next 60 minutes. But yeah, you're right. I mean, each and every one yeah. is very on trend in terms of fashion Ooh. trends because, you know, you can imagine a statement style ring with those, can't you? Oh, definitely. I mean, you That's know, a five pound piece, surely. And if you're a high end wire worker, this is a perfect opportunity to upsell quite a low cost material. Yes. And upsell it by doing, you know, like Laura does her train challenges. Yes. You can imagine her taking one of these or possibly even two, and making the most amazing pendants. Yeah, or even a bangle, I was bangle, thinking. Because yeah. they're doing a lot of the work for you, yeah, definitely. they'll lend themselves to, to bangle designs. So, I'm being told options. I have to bring that to an end because it is time <laughs> for another star buy. We do still have some of those remaining stocks. If you want to get hold of them, start dialing that free phone number. It's time for another star buy. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Time for another star buy, and on this occasion, it's sort of an essential finding offer. So it's not about sort of uh, providing you with inspiration by bundling gemstones together. It's not about launching a premier strand. It's about providing you with a wholesale deal, the best value that we can possibly bring you. And this time on jump rings. Now, it's really, really interesting for me because on Sunday I was watching. Debbie's part five of her chain mail adventure sort of thing and her designer inspiration shows. And when everyone was texted in, it was like they were reading my mind. It's like they were saying, I thought they were like, oh, I tried to do this, now I can do the box weave or whatever, thanks to you and what have you. And um, you know, they've taken up chain mail because maybe, you know, it's one of those disciplines that you always get a very uniform finish and lots of jewelry makers really do like that. I mean, when I first started presenting in November, I, I started my Facebook page and I sort of started talking to customers and saying, you know, I really want to start making jewelry so I've got an understanding of, you know, how you look at, at the product range that we, we provide you with. And um, I was sort of leaning towards chain mail. I was too scared to do wire work. <laughs> and everyone said, oh, you should definitely do chain mail. You know, you'll always be happy with the outcome. So that's why I took it up. I made, I think, four pieces, four, four completed pieces, and there's one piece that I started about four weeks ago and I haven't come back to yet, only because it's a busy month. That's it, it'll, it'll still be there when, when you're ready for it, and that's, that's the great exactly thing right. about things like chain mail or any of the sort of disciplines where you get a uniform finish or you know, you've, you've got a stop start point. But I love because you can just put it down you have your busy month and then you come back to it and yes. it's sat there waiting for you. Exactly right. Um, and I almost feel like this is a great t um, discipline for people to take up if they haven't actually started jewellery making yet. Maybe you've watched the channel for a few months and you've thought, I really like the idea of this, but you've never taken the plunge. You know, I actually have to say, while people talk about, you know, um, basic beading as a way to get started, some people find that really difficult because the idea of combining different colour tones, even different metallic tones, can be quite a difficult design process to get your head around, can't you? Some people really haven't got that some creative people, side of it. Some people just like to take the whole aspect of possibly colour and shape out, out of the equation. And when you're working with jump rings, the shape's there, it's a ring. You choose yes. what colour base, what colour metal it is. That's yep. about the only choice there is. And then if you choose, if on like the piece you've got on display there, 
whether you want to add gemstones to it or whether yes. you want to leave it in its natural state, which is metal on metal. Exactly right. And also because of the way the, the, the jump rings almost um, interlock mm. within the different chainmail weaves, adding gemstones becomes much more easy. So it can be a sort of in, it if can, you like, into definitely. feeling more confident about that. Now I should let everybody know exactly what you're going to get because I've uh, been eulogising about chainmail as a hobby but of course jump rings are essential for all jewellery makers, you need them if you're going to attach your clasps of course and here as part of this deal we're going to give you 120 individual jump rings but you're getting, uh, you get three different varieties. So we've got your 9mm jump rings in sterling silver and you get 20 of those. Then I've got your seven mil in your rose gold plated sterling silver. These are my favorite jump rings to use, by the way. Seven mil rose gold plated silver jump rings. No, so you've got a favorite in there. And how sad <laughs> is that, that I've got a favorite jump ring? No, no, it's a good thing though, because then you've always got a base position to start your next weave from, because ah, you know yes. you want to include that. I know the that. ones I want to use. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Actually, so it's good. Yeah. So you get 50 of these, which are the rose gold plated sterling silver. The finish from the rose gold jump rings for me is, well, exactly what I look for in the gemstones. It's because, I'll tell you why, because I always use girly gemstones, as you'd expect. Mm -hmm. So if you're using rose quartz or morganite or kunzite with rose gold, it works you, beautifully. Yeah, it yeah. works really well. And then you've also got the five mil of the sterling silver jump rings and you get 50 of those. So 120 in total. 50 of your 5 mil sterling silver, 50 of your rose gold plated sterling silver, and 20 of your 9 mil sterling silver jump rings. The 9 mil silver jump rings would probably create quite large chain mail links, but actually these could be used for your gem heavy necklace designs because of course you need a sturdy jump ring for your clasp if you're creating a, ge a gem heavy piece. Enjoy sections of your chain mail. So yes. if you've made, for instance, a section of Byzantine chain yep. mail but you want to, don't want it to be a solid you can make a section then you can use these to break, to it, up. break it up and then put the next section and on. actually that's where you could put your gemstone yeah so you use this one to break up the design and then hang your gemstone basically I'm, I'll tell you I'm saying this because I'm working on a design at the moment where the gemstones graduate down down the neckline yeah. so and I've got a a rough cut gemstone and then a faster gemstone. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so I've got, a, I've got a design concept in mind. That's a good, in fact, I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and reattach them with nine mil jump rings. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> so basically I'm just getting lots of inspiration from this, but I know how popular chain mill is thanks to those, um, those particular design inspiration shows that Debbie's put together. I should say, if you miss any of the shows here on Joymaker, they're all available on YouTube. So you can go back and find all of Debbie's Chainmail Inspiration shows. Um, there's five in total, and there's even talk of us putting them together as a DVD selection, but you can have them absolutely free of charge on YouTube if you have that opportunity. But without further ado, we do need to get the price point on screen for this Star Buy Wholesale Opportunity 1495. For 120 jump rings, that works out at 13 pence per jump ring, but these are, again, precious and semi-precious metals here. So we're talking about sterling silver, rose gold plated sterling silver for 13 p a jump ring. Now I have to say, I've never had to buy a finding from another outlet because I've always worked for Jewelry Maker and we consider ourselves to be the one-stop shop for all your Jewelry Maker needs the value that we offer here is absolutely out of this world. But Sarah, have you ever had to buy findings from I another have, outlet? I have, from desperation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's normally what happens with us jewellery designers. We don't, we don't do it on purpose. We normally would come to Jewellery Maker because we get the best value and the best quality here. But out of desperation, sometimes you mm -hmm. have to go elsewhere. Yeah, absolutely. And do you know what? I've had my, my fingers burnt several times from other suppliers really? where it's been described as one thing. I've ordered it, got it home, hasn't been quite what I wanted. Then I've sent, had to either phone up or email to try and get it swapped or 
and it just goes, you know, it just takes so when long. When the time. silver starts rubbing off, you think, oh. <laughs> well, it wasn't quite the size no. that was described on their, on their information, uh, right, yeah. or the um, aspect ratio might not have been quite what I was expecting. All of these sorts of things can happen. Um, so, you know, if you, you know, I would just buy with your maker all the time. Just don't get your fingers burnt. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you another story later, actually, about somebody told me last week exact, a very, very similar um, experience. But we've got another a chain mail um, item here, and this is the beauty of chain mail for me, the fact that you can have a mixture of metallic tones. I use yeah. the yellow gold and the rose gold a lot together. Mm -hmm. Here, one further, the silver and the yellow gold, and it looks spectacular. I'm just, it's getting a little lost there. I'll put it on the back of my hand so we can appreciate. Mm. This is one of the key things with chainmail for me, the fact that you can have that mixture of metal yeah. tones. And even if you're looking at this, this pack of jump rings and thinking, I don't, I don't do chainmail. I'm, mm -hmm. not, I'm not intending to do chainmail. Yep. I'd be getting these because I use them to make my own little extender chains at the back of bracelets. Yes. I use them to make little dangles with my earrings. I use them to attach all my clasps. Good thinking. I, you know, and sometimes you want that bigger look or you want it in a different metal tone and yes. you might not have it. Have these ready. I was gonna say, when they're seven mil, yeah. you don't need too many of them to create an no. extender chain, do you? That's I mean, it. if you put four and, or five, it's probably long enough. A really basic two into one. And that makes the most amazing. If you just do two into one, yeah. so two jump rings, connected with one jump ring, another two jump rings onto that one, really simple. It looks like the most expensive, know, exquisite I, chain you I can buy. I did that. I did that on my first ever design. I was like, have a look at my first uh, yeah. Byzantine weave. And See, everyone came out like, that's not a Byzantine <laughs> weave. <laughs> But I don't well, even call it chain mail when you do two in one because nah. you're, just, you're just linking them together, aren't you? You're not doing any really intricate patterns. But it does look yeah. very, very high end. That's like you're saying, yeah. that's why my granny requested that I gave her the bracelet for, I think for the, Christmas. I inadvertently did my first piece of chain mail like that because I didn't know what chain mail was at the time, but way back when. And I made out of my own. I made some little spirals, cut them up, made my own little jump rings, and made a little charm bracelet. And I didn't yeah, even so you didn't even realise you were it. doing chainmail and you'd done it. <laughs> yeah. That's the beauty of a discipline like chainmail because you get that uniform finish and it always looks high end and expensive. That, that's why I went for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to leave that one with you. We're going to have to move on. They are flying out the door. We do still have some stock remains. So if you want to make the most of that wholesale offer and add that to your order, there are still some available. I should say coming up in about 15 minutes time now, another premiere launch. And this is one that Sarah's going to be kicking herself about being here tonight over. You always do this to I me know, when I'm we here. Do, it does feel like it's almost... <laughs> <laughs> it almost feels like we're trying to wind Sarah up. I might have Beautiful to, amethyst. Can you do it in the last hour so I can run upstairs and get online and try and get one? <laughs> oh, it's coming up in 15 minutes. No, time. no! <laughs> you know what? My uh, producer's saying you can always... Turn your mic off and run out of the room. You won't right. hold it against you. <laughs> okay, Amethyst coming up in 15 minutes time. Before that, as I say, we're determined to find an added to order price for everybody out there. So where are we moving on to? Ah, very, very beautiful. Now there's something, something uh, interesting about this particular strand, and my producer may remember this. At the end of last year, I was contacted by a customer on um, Facebook who was requesting green opal. I think they had um, read into some folklore or some um, legend attached to the gemstone that suggested that green opal relieved pain during childbirth. Now, I'm not suggesting that, that it does or there's a scientific basis for that, but the customer had obviously read that, was interested in the idea behind that and asked me if there would be any green opal on the show. I did put the question to our, to our buying team. Well, they've managed to get hold of some. Now, this is not enhanced. Anyway, this is a very natural variety of opal. As a result, it's not the kind of variety that you're going to see pin fire, that colour play, that traditional colour play that you find in opal. Instead, this is much more of an opaque variety, but of course, that's the beauty of working with genuine gemstones, the variety that you get. And I think sometimes as jewellery makers, it might actually be well, certainly easier 
for a bespoke design to present an alternative variety to people but also I suppose you've got a little bit more of a, a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your customer base you can almost educate your customers into the fact that there are alternative varieties not Gosh, just yeah. what you're traditionally used to seeing used by master jewelers and I have introduced people to different sorts of tones of opal so we've had um, is it dendrite opal yeah, and we've had the blue opal. opals and Those bl the baby blue and the yeah, baby pink the opals fire opal yeah. and things like that and people are just absolutely blown away the mm. fact that I absolutely love opal anyway and it has great meaning to me um, that I absolutely love the fact that I get these different tones and I can you know choose to use them and even if it's just I'm using one or two different opals in a design you know different tone of opal just maybe I've used a couple of blue opals or something in a different design it just means that I can wear a gemstone that means so much to me Am I right in different thinking color palettes. that we've discussed this before yeah. was it your grandmother it's yeah. my mom. your mother yeah. that was it you had a had a yeah so opal, my mom's no longer yes. with me but I've got her opal jewelry and it's still when I open the boxes still smells of her perfume oh that was it yeah, yeah. I knew there was some <laughs> a lovely sentiment attached yeah to yeah it, so, so it, you know they mean a lot to me and for me to be able to then incorporate opal in different tones mm -hmm. into lots of different jewelry and I can yeah. wear them with all of my different outfits it just means so much to me do you know what that story for me really epitomizes why we work with genuine gemstones yeah, yeah, definitely. because of the emotions that are attached to them because of the different connotations for every, every individual everybody has their own personal relationship with gemstones as a whole but also with individual gemstones mm. um, you know Sarah's story there really evokes those kind of emotions that are attached to genuine gemstones and actually I don't know whether it's something about opal as a gemstone on the whole but it tends to be quite common with opal that you have these sentimental well, yes, um, definitely. sort of connotations because everybody I speak to even when they have no knowledge of gemstones whatsoever they always sort of are reminded about their grandmother's opal ring or yeah. their auntie's opal pendant or and something. I think because They're, you know the traditional format of opal, mm -hmm. the, the white opal with yes, with those with the, the with the fire in it. Tone, yeah. If as a child you saw that on an adult's yes. hand, you were automatically drawn that's to the magic. That's what it is. You've hit it in the <laughs> nail on the head. That's exactly but what it is. That's isn't where it? the memories start to be formed because the gemstone has so much magic in its traditional format mm -hmm. with that pin fire. You are really drawn to that gemstone like a little magpie as a child, and that's where those memories start forming very early. Absolutely beautiful variety of opal here they are because lovely. this is something that I've never brought you before and in fact we've never brought you this strand before it's a premier opportunity but again we just didn't have enough to warrant offering you as a, a star buy opportunity we only have a limited number available double figures fewer than 50 we've been able to get hold of and I'm not surprised because as I say getting the hold of the alternative variety of gemstones is a little more difficult and it's not because mother nature creates any less but it's because if you're a miner you are going to be looking for gemstones that you know you can sell very easily and the traditional varieties are probably going to warrant higher price points for you as a trader and of course you know the demand's going to be there master jeweler's always going to want a traditional variety of opal that's why we here at jewelry maker dedicate ourselves to providing you with the rarer varieties and just have a look at the finish on the gemstones huge nuggets they range in size from 11 by 6 to 21 by 6 so they're gonna make an impact once again and i think I don't think I'd want a beautifully faceted droplet of this gemstone. I think I want these organic cuts. The irregularities are it gonna feed to into the designs, aren't they? It really adds to the gemstone because you've got that organic colour. Yep. So therefore, having an organic cut to them really emphasizes Absolutely. and enhances the gemstone. Definitely. Just, it doesn't take anything, you know, it doesn't take anything away. I think it draws you in. You want to look at all of those different colour tones that you've got in that strand. I was going to say, you've got a real variation of colours there as well, haven't you? Because you've got the pastel greens, the lime greens, the forest greens. Do you know, and I'd love to use that strand with, I've got some fire opal 
Ron right. Davis. Oh, wow, yeah. And at home, and I would just love to have just those, just interspersed with some gold findings. And I think that would just make the most amazing necklace. That is piece. a fantastic idea. We launched a strand of fire rope on Sunday night as our superstar buy for seven ninety five, And I, I think over 100 people got hold of that strand. Wow. So, I know there, that was, was ridiculous that? in itself. I missed that one completely. That was our superstar <gasps> buy on Sunday night. Fire Opal for seven ninety five. It was an exclusive launch price. So anybody who got hold of that deal, my advice: get this home and see how they look together. Because I love green and orange together. Yeah. It's really sort of vibrant, tropical zesty. feel to it. Yeah, zesty. That's the word. <laughs> Good work. Okay, I've already got phone buyers multi buying this strand, and I only had a limited number available. An exclusive launch price this evening nine ninety five. I mean, just take that one gemstone there. It has quite a sort of translucent <clears throat> finish to it, very summer-like lime green yeah. tone to it. I mean, that would work so well within maybe a pendant design. Oh, wow. So we're already bringing you the ridiculous price of 9.95. That was under 10 pound for 120 carats of this very rare variety of opal. We've just gone one further. For the next hour, we've matched the price that we gave you on the fire opal. So we've taken it down to seven. 95. I've never brought you green opal previously, and I don't mean just here on Jewelry Maker. I don't think I've ever been given the opportunity to sell green opal here at the Genuine Gemstone Company. Didn't know it came in the green variety at all. So there you go. Absolutely. Every day's a school day, particularly yeah. if you work at Jewelry Maker. I find. <laughs> no, I just I do love the fact that working with gemstones, you learn so much. You learn Absolutely. about. Absolutely. The, the legends, the lore, the, the different hardnesses, the way the gemstones are structured, it's just a brilliant learning curve. Got lots and lots of people coming through on jewelrymaker.com allocating this to baskets. I will say I've had a bit of an influx on our free phone number since we lowered the price down to 795. So if you are placing it in your basket, make sure you check out to avoid disappointment. And I should just mention that Opal is of course a birthstone as well, so you're actually getting October's birthstone there in a very rare variety for just seven ninety five. I think a few people are going to make sales off of that strand. We're going to move on though. We're going to bring you a very, very traditional strand here at Jewelry Maker. These tend to be very, very popular. Faceted clear quartz. And here we've got the through drill droplet styles. So they're 8 by 6 mil. I mean, they almost have a sort of chandelier-like feel to them, don't they? You can imagine how many different designs these are going to work in. Just two as a pair of earrings, that's going to work. Very yeah. elegant um, look. But I'm thinking traditional bridal wear as well. Definitely Tiaras, in the hair. hair combs. Yeah, definitely the hair if you've got, you know, these work brilliantly no matter what tone of hair you have, you know, whether uh, you're, yes, you're the blonde or... Of them, that... Well, it's just because you're going to get that sparkle. And they, you may not see them there all the time, but when you move, they're going to give off all of that sparkle. And if you put them then with your traditional pearls for your fascinators in your hair, uh, your tiaras, that look amazing. And actually, I think there's a, a long-awaited DVD being mm. launched this weekend, the bridal DVD. Oh, is it here? At, yeah, oh. I believe so. I That's believe so. In fact, if, if for any reason it doesn't arrive, it doesn't get launched, don't hold it against me. But I, I think it's here, <laughs> isn't it? I heard, it, this is hearsay, so I'm giving you an exclusive of something that producer Liam and I overheard in the office, I believe, oh it's because they were talking about putting together the weekly email, oh, right. so I think they were discussing the broad so it may be that it's being launched this weekend. So I might have just given everybody well, you, a bit of a heads up. If you do get the, the subscribe to the email, it'll be on there if it's going to be. Launched. Oh, absolutely, yeah, so, yeah yes, exactly. Have a check. So if you if you uh, don't know what I'm talking about, you can actually subscribe to receive our weekly email and it'll let you know what's coming up over the weekend. I believe that the bridal DVD and it is very long awaited. It's a very popular genre within homemade jewelry making, or rather handmade bespoke jewelry making. 80 character clear quotes. This is the strand you need to have in stock you when your DVD arrives. I, I as, as a jewellery maker, whenever I see faceted clear gemstones, yes. I stock up. Yeah. <laughs> Just because they're so difficult to get hold of. Absolutely. They are so universally usable. Yes. So you could use them in all of your designs. And 
that the ones that I am reaching for all of the time with my designs, I either have my black and brown neutrals, or I have my clears and my whites, and they're just the ones I reach for all the time. Right, I've just thought of something as the well. Spinel. Stop everything, <laughs> yes. The spinel, can, you, can I move around? Is that okay? Oh, please. <laughs> Do you want me to get it? Can you see it from where you are? I can go look. Ah, oh, Sarah's gonna get it, right. Well, no, I think it's gonna be in a box, in a bag. Okay, we launched a strand of black spinel earlier this evening for something like 7.95, 6.95, that was it. And I believe, what, the last strand? Oh, okay, you'd have to search through our website now in, in the hope that there was some remaining in stock. But if you did get hold of it, you've got to get hold of this particular strand. Should be price. We're going to give you a clearance. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, match the launch price we gave you on the Spinel. Wow. When we talk about making genuine gemstones accessible, this is what we're talking about. Six ninety-five for 80 character clear quartz. Now, I think sometimes when we talk about quartz, people who don't necessarily have a real depth of knowledge might think quartz isn't that like one of the most you know, common elements in the Earth's crust. Yes, but to find jewellery quality quartz isn't as easy as it sounds. To find quartz with this level of clarity that can be faceted because of its density isn't always that easy here. I mean, just look at the number of facets you've got and people are flying in to get involved in this. How many strands do we have available? How many, sorry? Under 50 available in stock, and we've already got a huge number of people allocating this to their basket at jewelrymaker.com. If you want to get involved with this deal, of course, that price point is only available for 60 minutes. And anybody who got hold of the black spinel, I would advise you get hold of this. This has actually been traditionally used within bridal boutique bundles or bridal kits that have been designed by our resident designer, Sheila and um, as well as our project manager. So when they're thinking bridal, they're thinking clear quartz, just like Sarah said. But of course, you don't have to use it in that way. You can use it within your monochrome designs with the black spinel, or the fact that it will go with anything is a key selling point for clear quartz, that beautiful neutral clarity that you get from this gemstone. Okay, I've got to leave that on with you because it looks like it's gonna be a sellout and we've got a lot to fit in. Here we go. Is it this beautiful pyrite? blue coated pyrite now this is really interesting we've just been talking about chain mail and how it's a discipline that gives you the opportunity to work with different metallic tones which is something that a lot of customers are looking for and that's something that i love about pyrite because traditionally pyrite is known as fool's gold and it has that golden tone but here at Jewelry Maker we've taken pyrite to another level in my opinion by providing it with these coatings. Now I should say it's not a, a sort of coating that will come off the gemstone. Here this is quite interesting because it's a sort of powder blue or a sky blue, it's almost got a sort of lavender tone to it. Again, I suppose it's gonna depend what you mix it up with. I mean, if you matched it with the amethyst, would you get more of those lavender tones coming through? Oh my word, so many people. We are seriously busy tonight here on Jewelry Maker. So many people multi-buying this, coming through already. We haven't even brought the price on screen. Let's do that right now. It's 595. <laughs> That's why I like the cut on here because they're quite delicate. They range from two by one to four by three. So they're always probably going to be an accent gemstone. They do provide you with a bit of colour, but because they've been faceted, you get that metallic shimmer. But you can row these up if you've got bead loom, you can use them on the bead loom. Oh, the bead loom. Um, you can use idea. these if you want to use them in a the kumihimo, because they're really small, so they'll stack up really nicely as beaded kumihimo pieces. Like it. Um, if you want to use them as accents on your micro macrame pieces, because they're delicate, they'll just sit into That's those gaps. That's a great gaps. idea again, because the macrame bracelets um, yeah. tend to be quite popular for unisex designs yeah. as well. And sky blue, I always think of it as a colour that can go one you or two ways. You know you had earlier the multi-road macrame, but if yes. you wanted to do 
say a five road one you'd want a smaller more petite gemstone to do that with um, so you could get those five so roads. This lends itself perfectly to that yes yeah. actually now that you've said it the beadling for me I'm thinking oh, yeah. these would work so well because rows of them yeah, would just, really give you that metallic shimmer wouldn't they basically everybody that's come through so far is taking twos of these and I'm seeing lots and lots of regular buyers making the most of one PMP per day so congratulations to Valerie, Margaret, Colleen, Karina, Gillian, Julie 595 and add it to your order price oh it goes quite well with my shirt actually oh here we go have a look at this I'll, I'll be inside I've got two seconds to show you this before we move on because it is time to launch that amethyst as a star boy <laughs> Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Time for another star buy. And wow, we have got so many premiere launches in this show tonight, haven't we? Oh, Margaret. You legend. As he pressed the button, Margaret Adore was already on the phone line. Do you, maybe it's a little anomaly in the system and she's actually come through for the pyrite. Maybe not. Who knows? But basically, people are already allocating this to their order. Because even without Margaret, I've got buyers at jewelrymaker.com allocating this strand of amethyst to their order. You're about to see a Sarah-shaped hole at the guest designer desk at any minute. 100 carats of amethyst. Probably one of the well, most well-known, well, most well-used gemstones, certainly on the high street, but also by some of the biggest designers in the world, amethyst does tend to be a very popular gemstone. And it's for a number of reasons, really, I think. Of course, it's connections with romance because it's February's birthstone and those connections with Valentine's and it being Cupid's gemstone. But also, this intense purple color tone that you get from Amethyst works so well in jewelry designs because jewelry designs tend to be a luxurious item don't they they tend to have some sort of regality to them and purple traditionally is a regal color isn't it so amethyst is a very very popular gemstone now here at jewelry maker as we've already discussed we love to offer you the alternative varieties of gemstones like when we were talking about a green opal which by the way i think would be a fantastic color combination so i love greens and purples together so if you did get hold of the premier strand of opal, which we launched at 795, then I would be adding this to your order because I just love that together. But whilst we do try to bring you the alternative varieties such as your green opals or your green amethysts, the traditional color tones within different gemstones are always gonna draw more attention in my opinion. Now, as I say, it's important for us as jewelry makers to almost educate our customer base about alternative varieties, but this is a gemstone that you're not gonna to have to do any education. People are already gonna be aware of this. And the beauty of working with a gemstone like Amethyst is that people can go and do their own comparisons, their own price comparisons. You can go down the high street and you can have a look for Amethyst jewelry. You're gonna find some in the high street jewelers windows, but I doubt they're gonna offer you this kind of carrot weight. I mean, We've got 100 carats here and it spans across 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 gemstones. So we're looking at, say, just over 9 carats on average, although there is a graduation in the size. They range from 13 by 8 to 33 by 11, so I'd actually suggest that the larger ones are over 10 carats. I mean, if you're thinking about that as over 10 carats, I mean, look at the way it's been faceted. Checkerboard faceting on the surface of a gemstone, so you get that beautiful player light, that gorgeous sparkle. And you've got that on each and every gemstone, very uniform and faceting. That goes to highlight the quality of the gemstones themselves. But if you look at the way the gemstone's been treated, if you think about the saturation of color, you think about the carrot weight, even before we start to look at the alternative ways that we can incorporate gemstones into bespoke jewelry designs, even if you take it from the very traditional criteria, the color, the cut, the clarity, and the carat weight. This particular strand of amethyst ticks all of those boxes. 
and you're going to have some very impacting, significant jewelry designs thanks to the carat weights, thanks to the size of the gemstones themselves. 100 carats in total. I've already got lots and lots of people piling through on the phone lines. If you do enter a short queue, don't panic. It is a free phone number. You will be answered in the order in which you dial and you're going to come through to a member of our award-winning help team. But don't wait around for too long. Start dialing that free phone number right now to take advantage of this deal because here comes your exclusive launch price for 100 carats of amethyst. Traditional, intense, purple amethyst for 12 95 I mean, even if you think about just one of these as a pendant, you can traditionally make your money back on those kind of designs, aren't you? 12.95 for 100 carats and on this particular strand that equates to 11 gemstones Twelve ninety-five. okay as i say we have created a short queue on the phone lines but if you are fortunate enough and you come straight through to our call center don't worry it's our aim here at jury maker to be your wholesaler, to be your one-stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. We're not going to limit you to one strand. You can add as many strands of this gorgeous amethyst to your order as you wish, all for the exclusive launch price of $12.95. If you want to take advantage of that deal, then start dialing that free phone number right now, or alternatively, you can shop at jewelrymaker.com. If you have placed it in your basket, make sure you check out to avoid disappointment. Lots of people coming through taking two of this particular strand. Now, congratulations. I'm going to leave that one with you. And we are going to go to a quick break. When we return, even more incredible deals on genuine gemstones and findings. And of course, we'll be edging ever closer to the launch of our jewellery kit and some lovely inspiration from Sarah. So don't go away. We'll be back in two minutes. Join guest designer and polymer clay expert Debbie Balford for our Extruder DVD. Debbie will guide you through a variety of techniques including how to create geometric patterns, the suit ash and lace look and much more. To get your hands on a copy, simply contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. New to polymer clay? Then why not come and join guest designer Debbie Bolford and be introduced to this creative medium? Debbie will guide you through the basic techniques of creating bead shapes, canes, pendants, feature beads and much more. The full course includes black and white clay, a colour clay pack of your choice, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a visit to the Gemstone Museum and our shop. And all this for just $64.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Join guest designer and polymer clay expert Debbie Bulford for our Extruder DVD. Debbie will guide you through a variety of techniques including how to create geometric patterns, the suit ash and lace look and much more. To get your hands on a copy, simply contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Are you looking to create bespoke bridal jewellery? Then come and join guest designer Sheila on our bridal workshop. Sheila will guide you through how to design stunning accessories, including techniques using headbands, hair combs and tiaras. The full course includes a selection of hair combs and headbands, a selection of findings and wire, a generous scoop of mixed gemstones, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios and a trip to our gemstone museum. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 
Come and learn all about silver clay with international art clay instructor Natalia Coleman. This workshop will guide you through the basics of using silver clay, including how to plan your designs, cutting and shaping, firing and polishing. The full course includes 20 grams of art clay, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studios, a chance to meet the presenters and a visit to our Gemstone Museum. All of this for just £109.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. This is, of course, The Late Show. And I have to say, we're having a very, very exciting and busy evening, mainly because of the price points, but also because of how many premiere strands that we've launched. And we've got one yet to come. Have a look at this. Chrome diopside, but in some of the largest carat weights I've certainly ever seen on the channel. 50 carats in total, and I love the irregularity of the cuts here in fact we've just been discussing you know the idea of incorporating the organic cuts into your designs particularly in bespoke jewelry designs i think the organic cuts lend themselves so well that's what you're getting with this particular strand of chrome dioxide i almost want to say it's the it's the only one but it's certainly the only one i've ever seen i've always seen faceted drops or flat drops um, and I've seen the smaller nuggets, but I've never seen these irregular, larger cuts. I mean, there's huge carrot weights going across this strand. It's coming up at 8.45, so about an hour and a half. And I'm just going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 20. So 20 gemstones, the equivalent of 50 carrots. So you're talking about, on average, over two carrots each one. To find a strand of, uh, sorry, to find an example of chrome dioxide over half a carat is quite rare. Here, each and every gemstone is the equivalent of over two carats. I think there's one strand on our website, but they are plain oval, so they are a calibrated sizes. And my producer's telling me that it's more expensive than the launch price he's gonna give us on this strand. So if you're by a, a laptop, you can go and have a look and you'll get an idea. Oh, quite a bit more than what he's gonna launch this strand for, so that actually you're gonna have no idea then. <laughs> but it'll still give you an idea, it'll give you a little comparison, but as I say, nothing with this organic-like feel to it. It's coming up at quarter to nine. I think it's gonna be very, very popular because as I say, a lot of our customers, when they've taken their designs for independent valuation, have achieved the higher price points with this particular gemstone. In fact, one lady I know, had a valuation of over £200 for her necklace design. And one of the reasons that the jeweler had given it such a high price point is that he would never had the opportunity to sell chrome dioxide in his jewellers before. So quite an exciting opportunity. It's coming up in a little while though. We're going to kick off with these beautiful sky blue chalcedonies. Is that right? Has to be. I can tell from the sort of vitreous luster that you've got on this beautiful gemstone and actually again sort of a cut we don't see every day here for chalcedony we tend to see the larger faceted nuggets these are faceted but they're your delicate rondelles they range in size from three by one to four by three giving you 45 carats in total we've already discussed the popularity of this color tone with jewelry designs in fact you know what i'm thinking this is making me think of the blue coated pyrite we brought earlier because it's a similar size and shape. Lovely contrast there between the sort of waxy, silky luster that you get from chalcedony combined with the metallic shimmer that you get from pyrite. That's just one idea, of course. This would be the perfect accent for virtually any design because we've talked about the versatility of these icy blues and how well they work with so many different color combinations. 45 carats in total, and here comes your price point. 995, I should say, this is a 34 centimeter strand, so you're getting a lot of gemstones here for 995. And actually, four by three mil is a little bit larger 
than it sounds because these are quite broad. They're still going to make a huge impact on your jewellery designs. And I love the way they've been faceted because, as I say, you almost get a sort of a sort of lustre from Calcedony, a sort of a waxy finish. Very silky. 995, if you want to take advantage of that deal, start dialing that free phone number or click to buy now at jewelrymaker.com. We're going to move on. And we're going to move on to another variety of clear quartz. Now, as Sarah was rightly saying earlier, important to stock up on your clear quartz whenever it comes up. You know how versatile it is. It goes with anything because it's completely neutral. And the quality that we offer here at Jewelry Maker is outstanding true clarity and these are really interesting again another bit of a bit of an alternative cut here something we don't see every day because you've got these faceted wheels so they're almost a disc like cut but they have been faceted on the outer edge so you're going to get beautiful sparkle from these gemstones again perfect accompaniment to that black spinel that we launched earlier in the show the wheels themselves range in size from 5x2 to 7x2. And if you want to get involved, I'm afraid I only have a limited number available left on this Gems of Distinction strand. So you need to be dialing that free phone number right now. 60 carats in total, and here comes your price. 7.95, another add it to your order price. And here, I again don't think you'd have to use a lot of this in your design to make a huge impact. For me, I'm seeing it as more of an accent gemstone. And at that price point, you can probably afford to stock up, get a couple of strands of this, make the most of these opportunities. That was Sarah's advice earlier. I should say, we are joined by the lovely Sarah Elvin. I was told we're going to have to up the pace at the start of this house, so I kicked straight into the cells. But Sarah's here to provide us with some okay. inspiration. You love clear quartz, don't you, I do. Um, I love these, these button shapes because they work beautifully if you want to put them side on and uh, use two pieces of monofilament and actually create like a button style neckline piece. Um, That's they a great work idea. Beautifully um, on the bead loom again. They work beautifully yeah. in uh, your braided pieces. They sit beautifully, whether they sit inside on or as, yes. as intended. Yes. So again, you've got lots of versatility yeah. there because you can set them. Oh yeah, definitely. That way or, or, or flat either. faced. Yeah, and you know they're just beautiful. Even if you just want to put a couple of those on a head pin and create a little waterfall necklace, just get so much light and sparkle from them. There you go. Lots of inspiration then, and an add it to your order price. Moving on then. I knew you were going to say that. I was just about to pick it up anyway, whether you'd said it or not. <laughs> then it would have got in trouble. These are out of this world. Mystic coated Labradorite. Wow. And we've already launched a Premier Strand of Labradorite earlier this evening, and we were all sort of, I would say, entranced by the variety of Labrador essence we got there. And that was natural. Here, we've actually enhanced the Labrador essence. I mean, it's like there's a little disco going on inside every gemstone, isn't it? There's an absolute array of colours and sparkle from over here. So I can only imagine what it's like in natural daylight, close to in person, because I'm a good two metres away from this strand. And it is amazing. It's unbelievable. I'm looking down on the strand, I can see so many colour tones that I've never experienced from Labrador essence previously. Mm. Electric purple, rich golden greens, pinks, oranges, golden tones, blues, greens, and actually, they almost have a metallic feel to them as well, don't they? Mm, they do. You're getting getting sort of um, yeah, you're getting that sort of almost as if it was sort of titanium. Yes, yeah, that that's sort of titanium it. Titanium yeah. sort of sparks coming off it. You get silver sparks. You're getting metallic sparks you're getting golden sparks and even sort of a coppery almost sparks yes coming off absolutely it. and it's possibly because of the way the faceting has been done again on the outer edge of the rondelle so it really allows the gemstone the chance to catch the light and that light to enhance the look that you get from the gemstone and then you're getting all of those of course what you're looking for those blue sparks coming through but then i'm seeing some almost orange coming through from over here, like this sort of gold and orange colour coming through. They're amazing. I'm really enamoured by this particular strand. Let's just pick this one here. See if we can get some of these colour tones to come through on screen. There we go, I've got them straight away. 
peaches, reds, pinks, greens, all in one gemstone strand. And I can tell you, we're gonna give you an exclusive price reduction. Of course, it will only be available for the next 60 minutes. So you need to be getting involved on that free phone number right now because we only have a limited number available. They range in size from five by three to 12 by seven. Should be 9.95. What actually is the price reduction? Oh, he said you'll have to wait. Do you know what? If you're shopping online, you don't have to wait. Here it comes anyway. Should be 9.95. We've taken it down to 6.95. Wow, that is a clearance price. And I don't use that phrase very often unless it is officially classified as clearance, but that really is, isn't it? How many of this strand do we have available? Okay, so we've got over 50 strands in stock, but down at 6.95, I can imagine that is gonna be very, very popular. Now, if you have already started an order with us today and you've paid your £2.95, there is absolutely no harm in getting it. So maybe you're umming and ahhing a little bit and you're thinking, I'm not quite sure of the way that's going to enhance my designs. Get it home. That's the only way to make an informed decision. Do you know what I'm actually thinking? If you come back, can I come back to um, camera one? Sorry to direct from the floor, but have a look at these colour tones here on this banner. That, uh, that's the kind of colour play that you're getting from this strand of Labradorite. Basically a whole rainbow, a whole spectrum of colour on one gemstone. And it's quite interesting actually because now that I'm holding it out flat, we're getting a lot of the greens and blues. But when I was holding it like this, we were getting more of the fuchsias and the purple tones. Sometimes I'm a little dubious about coating genuine gemstones. I, I admit it because I've worked with genuine gemstones for such a long time and I always think, oh, surely you don't need to coat the gemstone. But, and particularly Labradorite would probably be one that I would traditionally say, oh, do we need to coat it? It's, it's got Labradorescence. But this, on this occasion, has absolutely enhanced the Labradorescence, taken it to another level. It's almost like you can imagine some of the most naturally beautiful people in the world, whether they be male or female, but then you put them in a beautiful outfit. In a Prada dress, yes. yes. And <laughs> exactly it just right. finishes that person off beautifully. It doesn't detract from that natural beauty, it just enhances it. And I think these coatings, when done pro like they yes. are here, beautifully, just enhances the natural qualities. Totally agree with that. That's the perfect yeah. analogy for what's happened with that gemstone. Okay, that price point six ninety five only available for the next 60 minutes or while stocks last because people are flying through on the phone lines. We're going to keep moving though because look at this. Wow. This is your sky blue appetite. And I have to say, quite interesting that this has been classified as sky blue appetite because I'm getting some sort of lagoon green hues coming through here as well, almost aquatic tones. So I think, again, it's going to maybe depend on how you use this gemstone as to what kind of effect you get. If you wanted to soften it up and really exploit the sky blue tones, you could set it with maybe a clear quartz. Oh yeah. And that works. I think, you know, th that gemstone will just give its colour to the clear quartz. Yes. It'll just pass that on beautifully and you won't, you won't get a huge sort of colour play, but you'll just get that blue spark almost come back off the clear quartz. It's amazing Absolutely. clear quartz with coloured gemstones. I totally agree, particularly when both the gemstones are faceted as yeah. well, because then yeah. you get that sort of light bouncing around, don't you? I know, and I just, I love any sort of jewellery that's got that real sparkle, that real fire, that real light and dancing. Oh, I think all, I think, well, I was going to say, I think all ladies do. I think everyone does, actually. I think we're all a magpie at heart. Yeah, yeah I but agree. This, that combination works beautifully together. Okay, so if you do want to get involved with this deal, I will say, Sky Blue Appetite, a lot like amethyst really, uh, in that it's very heavily used by very prominent jewellers, even high street jewellers, and this tends to be the colour tone that is the most, well, neon appetite is probably the most sought after, but sky blue appetite probably the most easy to get hold of, mm -hmm. and as a result, very, very popular. People see it, they want it. This That's is a colour tone works. I get asked for an awful lot in really? commissions. People come to me and say, that's my friend's colour. That's the colour she likes to wear. 
can you do something in that colour? I wonder what it is I because it, 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 it tends to be yeah. an industry standard that people invest in blue gemstones yeah. quite a lot. And this sort of really vivid blue yes. is the one that people go for yes. out of the boxes because I get all the blue gemstones out and they go for the vivid blue. Straight away go yeah. for that. There you go then. Well these are faceted drops, they range in size from 6x4 to 10x6 and if you want to get involved you know what to do because here comes your price point. 1995. So this comes from a Gems of Distinction range. Not an easy gemstone to source. And as I say, it's almost interesting in that neon appetite, a lot rarer, but you'll see more of it being traded for, not necessarily being set into jewelry, but you'll see more neon appetite being traded for because it's sought after. But as bespoke jewelry makers, we can educate our customers into these maybe alternative varieties, and actually that is going to offer you so much within your designs. 1995 for Sky Blue Appetite, and we're going to move on to, wow, one of the most sparkly strands of Zavarite Garnet I've ever brought you here on Jewelry Maker. One of the rarest varieties of Garnet available. Comes from the Groschula Garnet family. Basically, any of the alternative varieties tend to fall into that particular species, the Groschula garnet. And this has a very interesting history attached to it, Zavarite garnet. Only discovered in the late 1960s. And when it was originally discovered, it was found in the Zavo National Park in Kenya. That is still the only known location that we can get hold of this gemstone. But there were 40 commercial mines within the National Park mining for this gemstone. Now, we've got around four active open mine faces searching for Zavarite Garnet. And it's thought that as a result, this could be maybe a thousand times rarer than emeralds. Certainly if you consider tanzanite to be a thousand times rarer than diamonds, if you're looking at that by the same criteria, then Zavarite would be to emerald what tanzanite is to diamonds and actually i love emerald it's one of my favorite gemstones and it's because i do love those green tones but it's because it's included well zavarite is almost like the unincluded version of emerald isn't it it's that beautiful vibrant light it's somewhere between a lime green and a pastel green actually so again very very versatile we know how popular and versatile green gemstones are as a whole. We talk about it being Mother Nature's base tones. It'll work with any other gemstone. Here, as I say, one of the most exquisite varieties of Zavarite Garnet I've ever seen, and it's because of the way it's faceted. These are quite delicate rondelles, which range in size from one by two to three by five, but then micro faceted. And when I say that, it's because it's not as though we've just put a facet on each end of the rondelle. If we, I don't know how close we can go in, but you'll see a huge number of facets on the surface of each and every gemstone. So you're going to get beautiful play of light there. Basically, lots and lots of sparkle. As Sarah says, we're all magpies at heart, but also we all want to own the rarest gemstones on the planet. This is ticking every single box and I have to tell you that at under a pound a carat for Zavarite Garnet this is a price point not to be missed. 14.95 for 15 carats of Zavarite Garnet probably one of the rarest varieties of Garnet probably one of the rarest gemstones available as I say only available in one location and there are only four commercial mines that are working on sourcing this gemstone for us. Absolutely exquisite. And of course, because garnet is another of those very traditional gemstones that are very well known, most people associate the gemstone with those sort of uh, pigeon blood red tones, or even maybe if you're thinking of road like garnet, maybe some of those purple hues but nobody's really ever thought about lime green garnet, but that's exactly what you can offer your customer base or even your friends and family. You know, if you know somebody who's got a birthday in January, but who doesn't suit wearing maybe red gemstones, 
again the alternative varieties are the way to really branch out as a jewelry maker and it'll almost give you authority won't it i mean if you think about our company the genuine gemstone company we rely on the fact that people know that we go above and beyond, that we travel the world to make sure that we have sourced the rarest varieties and the best possible quality. Well, you too can make those claims as a jewelry maker because you've sourced them from us here at the Genuine Gemstone Company. 15 carats of Zavarite Garnet available right now for 14.95, another opportunity not to be missed. We're gonna move on because it's time now for yet another Starboy! Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Time for another star buy. And on this occasion, we're going to offer you a very, very well known gemstone. So we've just had a look at Zavarite Garnet. And I think sometimes people are a little bit standoffish, if you like, when we talk about the rare varieties of gemstones, mainly people who are selling their gemstones because they think people won't know about Zavarite Garnet. They're only going to want red garnet or they're only going to want to buy tanzanite or amethyst. Otherwise, they just want sapphires, rubies, tanzanite, amethyst. That's all people want. I don't believe that's the case. I think if somebody's interested in investing in genuine gemstone jewellery, if they want coloured gemstones, I think more often than not, especially when people are buying bespoke jewellery designs, they want to invest in alternative varieties. However, if you are selling in a very traditional venue, like a craft fair, it might be that working with traditional gemstones or gemstones that are used heavily on the high street will lead to more sales. So, you know, I'm, I'm open to both sort of views on that front. and. So we're going to go from one extreme to the other. Zavrite Garnet, probably one of the most rare varieties of Garnet. Now we're talking about one of the most heavily used gemstones on the market. Certainly one of the most popular gemstones available right now. Another birthstone. This time we're looking at November's birthstone, beautiful topaz. Here we've got probably the most well-known variety, certainly the most well-used variety, sky blue topaz, and I can prove it to you. In fact, if you are shopping online and you're watching jewelrymaker.com, open another tab and uh, just put topaz jewelry into your search engine. I guarantee you that the majority of designs that come up, if not all, are going to be this beautiful sky blue tone. This is a double deal, so we're going to give you the opportunity to get hold of two of our Gems of Distinction strands of Sky Blue Topaz. Now, each strand is 80 carats. So in total, you're gonna get 160 carats of Sky Blue Topaz here. And these are your plain drops. They range in size from six by four to 13 by nine. I always think that the plain droplets are quite interesting because Yes, you get that traditional cut, which is going to lend itself to lots of different designs, maybe the matching sets, the earrings and pendants, or maybe your ring designs. But you get this polished finish, which I think, again, will lead you through the creative process. Again, I mean, you could use these as petals within a design. Can you imagine creating a beautiful topaz floral motif? That would be so gorgeous. Again, as well as we've just discussed it's this icy blue tone which is so popular when people are investing in colored gemstones probably one of the most popular colors for people's first purchase of colored gemstones is this traditional blue tone now what we've done here is we've taken two strands we've bundled them together so that we can provide you with a wholesale opportunity a massive saving and if you were to buy these strands individually from our website any other time, it would cost you £25.90. Now I realise that we sort of throw so many price points at people here on The Late Show because we're trying to find something for everyone that sometimes the price points can get a little bit lost, you know, and people are only looking at the price and they're not considering what they're getting. You know, when we're taking a strand to 4 95 you think, 25 90 that seems high. 
Think about what you're getting. That basically means that they're what? 11.95 each normally. Uh, 12.95, sorry. So normally, 80 carats of sky blue topaz is 12.95. Trust me when I tell you that that represents incredible quality. And these come from our Gems of Distinction range. They represent some of the highest quality topaz we can source for you. Now, whenever we take a collection of gemstones and bundle them together, we're able to offer you a wholesale deal. That's our aim here at Jewelry Maker, to be your one-stop shop for all your Jewelry Maker needs. Normally, these would be 12.95 each. Tonight, I'm gonna do you a bit of a deal. Buy one, get one for five pounds. And if you're working with this gemstone, these color tones, you know your gemstone jewelry is gonna be popular. 17.95 is your star buy opportunity this evening. Would normally cost you 25.90. So if you're the kind of jewelry maker who is receiving personal commissions, or even if you're creating jewelry designs as gifts, maybe you wanna emulate the kind of jewelry that you've seen on the high street, this offers you incredible value. Um, I did my own research last week, went to a few of the high street jewelers, looking at some sky blue topaz, much, much smaller carat weight than this, set with cubic zirconia, I don't even know what that is, into um, silver, 77.99. So you can offer your customers the exact same opportunities that they're able to see on the high street, only at much more affordable prices. 17.95 for 160 characters sky blue topaz. As I say, in 60 minutes time, that would cost you 25.90. It's the equivalent of buy one, get one for five pounds. I'm gonna leave that on with you and we're gonna move on. So much to fit in. Should just say that coming up at the top of the hour, we're going to go to a quick break. When we come back, our star buy opportunity is going to be the chance to buy one of our jewellery kits. Is that right? Okay, that's incorrect. We're going to do the kit and then we're going to get to a break. Sorry, I'll stop producing from the floor now. Okay, coming up at the end of the show, however, is a superstar buy. This beautiful strand of chrome diopside. So my favourite strand of chrome dioxide I've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker. I'm going to go out, I'm going to say it. This is coming up. as our superstar buy. This will close the show at around about 8.45 this evening. I've only got double figures of availability. I know it's going to be popular with all the elite jewellery makers out there who are selling their designs, but also if you are maybe trying to put together a very special gift for somebody, I will explain the rarity of chrome dioxide later on in the show. You've got to get hold of this strand, trust me. Okay, we're gonna move on. And I wondered why there was nothing in box 11, and I haven't, it isn't here either. Is it pushed to the back? That's exactly what it is. It's dropped down. Here we go, I've got it, here we are. How many of these do you own, Sarah? Uh, <laughs> it's the Kumimo uh, Matrix collection, so all the I've specific got I think I've got three of that particular one. There we go. Because <laughs> I use those ends all the time. Of course. I use them so often that I just have to have them. Do you know, when we were talking about um, Kumihima at the start mm. of the show, we were talking about the finish, yes. weren't we, and saying how important it was to create, um, <coughs> well, an array of different finishes, yeah. but also the professionalism of the finish. That's it. The professional finish just finishes off those those braids. You spent all that time making it. Mm -hmm. and the last thing you want to do is to have a finish that you're not happy with. Oh, Even if you're going totally to wear agree. it, you know, if you're making it for yourself, you still want it to have longevity. Mm -hmm. You want it to, to look professionally finished. And if you are making these things to sell on, you certainly want to have those. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the, to have the array of 
metal turns in there to have all of those extra clasps as well yep. and to have the beads which fit over your satin cord so if you want to start doing your beading coming here mode, those aluminium beads there do fit over your satin cords beautifully gorgeous the other thing is as well and forgive me mm. if this is wrong but i was to say sometimes uh, the brady techniques as well if you don't finish properly are more inclined to look like craft work rather than oh, bespoke yeah, jewellery definitely because yeah. you haven't got the traditional metallic tones yeah. people would maybe think oh you know they yeah. might be almost inclined to think oh it's just a, another friendship bracelet or something do you know what I mean a whereas way to finish everything. when you finish it yeah. properly yeah. they can appreciate the time and the effort that's, that's gone into it yeah and you know with your whether you're doing macrame pieces whether you're doing braided pieces whether you're doing kumihimo you've got a lot of ends that need to be finished in some fashion and these to me are one of the easiest ways of doing it if you're using your suede et cords if you're using your real leather if you're using the actual suede cords this is a brilliant way to finish off all of those ends and to give yourself that real professional finish and to have that many is amazing totally agree and this is like mm. our way of providing everybody with a wholesale deal so that we can provide you with incredible value but also a real variety because you've got your silver plated copper you've got your gold plated copper your rose gold plated copper there in your findings so you've got your toggle clasps your bell shaped clasps um oh, i always fit them what's the little connector things called no. you know the um where are we here Oh, the little bales. Yeah. The little ba the bales to Have go over. Have they got a special name? Um, I, I think they're just bale carriers. Oh, right, okay, yeah. that's cool then. Because I always say it when I go past them. I These think, are a different style, but they'll give you an idea of okay. the finish. Oh, fantastic. So this is perfect. Yeah. So this goes to show you exactly how the bell-shaped clasps, the bale findings and the toggle clasps go to enhance your kumihimo or braided designs. Absolutely exquisite. See, no one's going to mistake this for, you know, you know, a piece of sort of childish craft work. They're going to yep. really be able to appreciate that this is professional jewellery designing. And these have been around since I started doing the Kumihimo DVDs. So you can see that they've been in my box. Mm -hmm. They come out time and time again. They've been worn. <laughs> and they just don't shift. They, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, absolutely gorgeous so you know it just proves that you can finish no matter what materials you're using so i think i've got some satin cord there and some hemp cord there um on those two different designs so you've, you can just sort of love see. this hemp cord one. yeah i would wear that happily <laughs> so i'll just take this bead off take the bead off, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well you know that's that's the whole nature of those and you don't have to use those sort of charm carriers like i've used them on there you don't have to use them with your kumihimo braid you can no. use them I've used three and I've taken one millimetre leather cord through and made lots of different designs with it. So but you, you also get your, um, your charms as part of this. So yeah, you get, you get your heart hearts. shaped charms. So they're going to lend themselves perfectly to yeah. bespoke jewellery designs, aren't they? They could be a little symbol, you know, on the back of your Kamehimo bracelets, you put a little heart onto your toggle clasp. That could be your little distinguishing mark. Is that a little bit of detailing there on that clasp as There's well? There's loads oh, of detail wow, on those it, clasps. That's exquisite. So you get your nautical finish that almost has a yeah it's got like um, um flowers or something like a vine yeah, on I'm it try, yeah i'm trying to establish exactly what it is it might it's just a sort of like a metal beading there yeah, but it just provides you with a little more character and a slightly um more attention to detail like we've been discussing i know some ladies pick their jewelry on what the clasp actually looks like oh what absolutely the piece of looks yeah. like, i've so. actually heard those discussions yeah. going on in the jewelry maker shop saying yeah. oh i'm not sure about the clasp yeah Forget it's the a deal the breaker. It's a deal breaker. <laughs> yeah. Never mind the fact that you've got a ten carat kunzai in the yep. in the pendant. If the clasp's not right, okay, twenty nine ninety five. If I'm right in saying this, I think when I was looking at the schedule, we only had a limited number remaining in stock. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. We're approaching the final twenty in stock. So I think we've got twenty two in stock or something. Twenty nine ninety five. Now again, this sort of goes back to what I was just saying. Sometimes the price points in your mind might seem a little more considered because we've just seen gemstones for 495. But when you consider the massive array of items that you're getting here, 2995, I think there's well over 100 pieces here. 
what I will say about yes. jewellery makers Kumihimo ends, and I have bought them elsewhere because before jewellery maker did yes, them out of, of necessity, course. there I was, yep. fingers burnt again. <laughs> um, they are very sturdy. The quality of the metal that is used and the thickness of the metal that's been used mm -hmm. in these means that you have a really sturdy finding that right. when you put the cord ends in isn't going to warp or, or so that's pull out why we've shape. used a base metal for these then so that we can have a higher metal content we've still yeah. given the silver gold and rose gold plating so you get that high-end finish but a base metal provides you also, with a more um, if you sturdy think finish what's going to happen with those plasts you're going to put your wrist down with your bracelet on you're going to lift your wrist up of you're going to put it down yeah. so it's so if got, you've got to have that, that silver is quite malleable it might get but also if you don't use a, a, a strong enough thickness, you, you can save money by making them thinner, then if you don't make them thick enough, they're going to warp over time. Oh, right. They're not going to give you that and then quality. Then you're going to get returns anyway. Yeah. <laughs> buy cheap, buy twice. That's the key, isn't it? That's the thing. Fingers burnt again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you know, you get the benefit of jewelry making now, don't you? Yeah. There you go. Wow. This is really, really interesting because we had a variety a little like this um, on Sunday night and it's just something a bit different. Yes, it's one of the big four, it's very recognizable, but because you've got this gorgeous sort of opaque finish to the gemstone, it's almost as though you get a little bit of chatoyancy on the surface of the gemstone, which isn't common with a gemstone like ruby, but just have a look what I'm talking about here. Hopefully I'll be able to get it across to you. Can we see that? I think I've just about caught a little bit of it there. It's really interesting actually because these look a little darker on screen than they are in reality. However, they're not a really um, rich, bold red. Instead, you do have almost like a red wine tone. Cool. on here. <laughs> so the magic words at this time. I, was just night. Gonna, I knew that. I knew I was going to start making everyone feel thirsty. Well, everyone at home, just pour, pour yourself a glass. Enjoy it. Yeah, but <laughs> you've definitely got those tones coming through. It's beautiful. Yeah, I love it. And, and then on some, you've got um, maybe slight reds coming through. On others, you've got the pink hues coming mm. through. So again, very versatile strand of gemstones. Top drill drops. So easy to incorporate into your designs, as we always discuss. I mean, we talk about um, the top drill drops because you can create the matching set. But actually, even if you're not creating a matching set, it is a very traditional look, isn't it? And it's because, I think, it provides movement within the design. So the droplet style earrings, even as I was describing the piece I'm currently designing at home, I need droplet styles because that just looks right on the neckline doesn't it That's so even it. if it's not going to be the focal point it's not going to be a pendant on its own it's still that droplet style still suits someone's neckline the degletage it changes the way a neckline piece falls as well having yes. those droplet styles so it just does sort of elongates the neckline to a certain extent mm -hmm. so it's very very flattering yes um which is a really beautiful gemstone to use for everybody well, I don't care whether you're a supermodel and have a beautiful long swan like neck or whether you're yes. like me. <laughs> Talking about me again, Sarah. <laughs> but it really does help you to feel, especially as a lady when you're wearing sort of beautiful jewellery, to, to, to get that posture mm. right, to get you to feel very beautiful and elegant. And this Absolutely. really, that shape just helps. I mean, um, your jewellery should really enhance your whole ensemble, shouldn't it? You don't want it to be detracting, you don't want it to be clashing, no. you want it just to finish yeah. off your look, don't you? You want that piece to be the last thing you put on and just think, yep, that's it, it's all done now. Absolutely. Look, no more to add. Or, as Karen Crawford told me recently, you should start your outfit by picking your piece <laughs> of jewellery and then <laughs> pick your clothes around your jewellery, so as she was concerned. Now these are described as rice beads, but I would say they're top drill drops, personally, because they have the elongation. That's the way I see them. They are um, ranging in size from eight by five to 18 by 10, and this offers you the chance to invest in one of the big four for a very affordable price point. 14.95 for 90 carats of ruby. We talk very, very regularly about investing in your birthstones particularly around about that time of year. Of course, maybe somebody will approach you and say, you know, it's um, 
my sister's birthday or my cousin's birthday in the next four to eight weeks. This is July's birthday. So it could be a very apt time to invest in Ruby. 90 carats in total here. Available right now for 14 95 Congratulations to Sheila, Nikki, Rosalind, new buyers coming through as well. And I will just give you a quick count up so you get an idea of exactly how many pieces you could potentially make. This is of course an average, it always is. We um, graduate, um, we classify gemstones via their carat weight rather than their number. But two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 on this particular strand. So you might get 16, you might get 18, um, bearing in mind that it will be based on the carat weight of each individual gemstone. I'll leave it on there and we're gonna move on now to, wow, very, very rare gemstone. We've had basically two of the rarest forms of garnet on tonight's show. We've already brought you Zavarite garnet. In fact, yeah, in, the, in one hour of the show, in fact, because the Zavarite garnet is here, isn't it? Actually, how about this is a combination? Zavarite garnet and color change garnet. Somebody who's got a birthday in January, that's a, uh, Pretty exquisite piece of birthstone jewellery, isn't it? Crikey, can you imagine that if you got given a piece of jewellery made from both those strands? Amazing. Amazing. Absolutely. And it would be even more incredible because in one light source you're going to get all the greens, in another light source you're going to get lime green and beautiful rich reds. But you wouldn't just be uh, creating one piece of jewellery with this particular strand. 84 centimetres, very um, delicate organic cuts. These are the smaller nuggets I was describing earlier when we were talking about the chrome dioxide. Actually, how about that for a combination? Chrome dioxide and colour change garnet. Oh yeah. Wow. I like that. Now it's going to be virtually impossible for me to show you the colour change in the studio. You literally need two very, very different um, light sources. You need daylight and you need incandescent light. So you're going to have to uh, try and create that yourself. But basically right here we can see a lot of the sort of earthier brown tones and we're getting some of the lime greens coming through as well because we've got so many light sources. By the I think we can see, there we go, I think we almost caught, if you look at these gemstones along here and on this row here, you can almost see a sort of peridot green coming through. Then if we back off a little, you're going to see that on the face of it, it almost looks like a sort of chocolate brown or a cognac tone, but that's actually going to be a red colour tone. If you get these next to, you know, in a darkened room with a candle, these will look red. Yeah. So colour change garnet, it's a very, very rare phenomenon, only visible in a handful of gemstones that we know of, but we've managed to get one of them. And I have to say, I think I've probably sold Colour Change Garnet as many times since I was a presenter on Jewelry Maker as I ever did as a producer on Gems TV. I think I only was able to bring you Colour Change Garnet two or three times when I was a producer over there. It's a very, very difficult gemstone to get hold of. A, Mother Nature just doesn't create that much of it. It's very, very rare. Because what we're actually talking about is that a, a gemstone that's almost between two stages of its, of its formation. So as a result, you know, because of the pressures, the temperatures that gemstones are put under when they're forming, it tends to actually go one of the other two ways. Yeah. It doesn't tend to stay in this state. So it's very, very rare. And because we've got the organic nuggets here, we've got it at a ridiculous affordable price. 11 95 I have to say some of these aren't that small. They're ranging from two by one to six by two. I mean, look at that there. It's certainly a much larger gemstone. You'd associate it with one of these strands of nuggets. <coughs> Not that much smaller than you'd find on one of our droplet cuts, really. 11 95 for colour change garnet. As I say, this is why we talk about utilising your 30 day money back guarantee. Get it home, experience the colour change, and then you're going to fall in love with the gemstone. 11.95, absolutely ridiculous. I'm gonna leave that on with you, we're gonna move on. Sorry, did you say 60? Yes, 
Wow. Do you know what? This gemstone, I think, is a little bit neglected here on Jewelry Maker. This is Golden Beryl, or Heliodor, and whenever we bring it to you, it's always as part of a strand of beryl, where we are matching it up with Aquamarine and Morganite, which of course are beautiful in their own right and very, very sought after gemstones. But Golden Beryl, you know, traditionally, is a very, very well used and well known gemstone. In fact, it's the gemstone that is mentioned in the Bible more than any other gemstone. Do you know that, Sarah? There you go, I've taught Sarah something <laughs> else today as well. And this is Heliodor, so as I say, it's, um, it's just, this is yellow beryl. And obviously, when you're looking for a particular colour hue, um, before it starts to be classified as golden beryl, but of course it has the same chemical propositions um, as a golden beryl. Gorgeous Heliodor, perfect for the upcoming summer seasons, isn't it? Because, I mean, we've talked about the way that yellow gemstones just help to give more of a sunny look and, of course, maybe promote positivity. Mm. So it's a very popular colour tone, maybe to help you feel happy on a dreary day. Now these rondelles range in size from 8x4 to 11x5. I could be wrong, but I'm thinking, whenever I see the sort of broader rondelles, maybe um, Sarah can correct me if I'm wrong. I always think of charm designs. Do you know they Yeah, they, they do. I mean, they look like um, very famous, well-known charm. Oh, that's that what it is. The, the <laughs> I've been influenced by somebody else's the, design. Has the silver around the hole that goes oh, through yeah. the middle. Oh, right. Yep. So that's why yeah. I always think of it. Okay. Because yeah. I've been ripped off by them so many times. <laughs> <laughs> she probably shouldn't say that. Um, but yeah, they do have that shape about them. So they do, you know, they will make the most beautiful charms if you want to just put them on to, um, if you want to wire wrap them and make them yeah. into little charms, or if you want to. Well, these with yellow gold as well. Yeah, I'm thinking if you were to put a head pin through the centre and then bend it up so it would actually hold it, so it would yes. have that like wheel shape yeah. charm. That is feel. basically what yeah. I always envisaged, but you're right, it's just because of the shape, isn't yeah. it? And but they'd lend themselves to, to lots of different designs. Oh, I'm thinking yes. macrame bracelets. Definitely, because they're going to sit either, whichever way you put them in the macrame bracelet, they'll sit beautifully. Um, because they're so beautifully faceted and smooth against the skin, they're going to work beautifully on bracelets. So you don't have to worry about you know having anything that's going to be beautiful against the skin. But also for neckline pieces, I can see these just you know just using a couple of them mm. and just letting, letting all the light go around those. And that in, on a beautiful sunny day, they're just going to even come more to life. It's a gorgeous um, colour tone, isn't it? Because oh, yeah. you've got a slight variation. It, for me, I'm thinking of um, daffodils, because you know you get the yeah. different variations of daffodil it's got, yellows. It's got something a sort of butterscotch about it as yes, well. Yes, absolutely. Because then you've got the yeah. golden hues coming through yeah. on some as well, yeah. So, you know, if, if your favourite food happens to be something like a creme brulee, it's got all those beautiful tones coming through it. They're just gorgeous and really warming as well. I think they've got a real warm tone about them. So they're just... I would, you could use them with lots and lots of different metal tones as well. You know, you said yellow gold. I'm looking at that and thinking if you want to take it on an antique feel, you could use the antique bronze, and that would look beautiful with those. To so use your antique bronze wire and find things, just give it a real mellow. Tone. Incredibly versatile. Then. Oh, gosh, you can use them in yeah. so many different ways, so many different metallic tones. Regular viewers amongst you will be pleased to know that I haven't gone a whole show without pulling a tassel off a strand. <laughs> <laughs> It just dropped off. 80 carats in total. Nine ninety-five. Wow. As I said, oh, there you go. I've gone above and beyond. I've even pulled a gemstone off just because I mentioned it. Oh dear. It's not. It's not a. You know. It's not a show with Ed without a tassel falling. That's off what the I front. thought. I yeah. thought. Oh, I haven't let them down. I've pulled yeah. the tassel off. I've never pulled a gemstone off before. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, you can thank me for the deal. <laughs> My producer said, oh, I'm going to have to do a deal now. You've been messing around with this strand for too long. <laughs> there you go. 
Should have been 995 if I hadn't started messing around with it. I just got you a clearance price for Heliodor. Absolutely incredible. 795. And now, all of a sudden, lots of people getting involved with this deal. I'm not surprised. That's the way to make the most of your 1P and P per down. Seeing lots of familiar names getting involved. People multi buying the strand. Not surprised. We've just taken gorgeous Heliodor from our Gems of Distinction range to a clearance price of 795. The only reason we can do that is because it's on a time limit. It's only available for 60 minutes. I'm gonna leave that on with you at 7.95 because it is now time to launch our jewelry kit as a star buy. Welcome back to Jewelmaker Time for another star buy. And on this occasion, probably the ultimate expression of a wholesale bundle. This is the concept on which the whole channel was launched and it's one of our jewellery making kits. So the idea is that they contain everything you need to get started with the hobby or of course they are a complementary collection of items so that they'll create a matching set of jewellery if you are a very experienced jewellery maker. Of course if you do tend to dabble in a number of different disciplines or you're very confident in incorporating different gemstones and techniques into your designs this is just a sort of um a very basic brief and you can take this in any direction you wish of course if you are brand new to the hobby and this is going to be your first purchase you will receive everything you need to get started we're not just going to expect you to know how to create jewelry designs we're going to provide you with our getting started dvd which again has about an hour's worth of tutorage, all the basic techniques like how to um, create a basic loop, how to attach a clasp, how to knot elastic, all the things that you need to know to get started. And you'll also get that in booklet form as well, just in case people don't like using DVD players, but some people might not even have a DVD player. Although I am led to believe that most of our customers now shop with us online, so of course it'll work in your PC as well. So you get all of that to get you started, but let's show you what you're going to get in this particular collection because the three strands of gemstones are so beautiful. And now that I see them, I understand why Sarah <laughs> thought this had been tailor built for her. Perfect for your taste, isn't it? when was given this so <laughs> I know, yeah. you were very uh, very happy with this one i'm not surprised i think everyone at home is going to be pretty happy when they see this combination of gemstones very very feminine very traditional very classic Ooh. but actually again you could take this in a number of different directions depending on what you use with it you can yeah. take this in a very contemporary I've done no direction, couldn't you? some very classic pieces. I've done one that is possibly not to everybody's taste, but I love the way it turned out. So, you know, that's that's you know, that's the great thing about jewelry making. You can make the jewellery to suit you yes. or your clients. Absolutely. Or any occasion. That's and I think thing. when people are investing in handmade jewellery yeah. designs, they want something different. Yeah. They don't want to look the same as what they could have got on the high street. They want something I love bespoke. The, I love the fact that I never make exactly the same design twice because it'll either have a different gemstone in it it'll have a different combination of gemstones yes. or it'll be it'll just happily morph itself into yeah. something completely well, different. Well the gemstone itself yeah. might have a different finish and yeah. that in itself will enhance the design yeah. isn't it? That's one of the thing I love about jewellery making it's just so different. Three very very popular gemstones here you've got your golden cultured potato pearls, these are six by five mil in size, so slight irregularities and a slight elongation to the pearl, which I'm sure is gonna feed into your designs and we'll have a look at the way in which um, Sarah has used this just shortly. You've also got 55 carats of amethyst in your plain rondelles, these range in size from four by two to six by four. And then you've got your huge faceted pear drops of rainbow and moonstone giving you 45 carats and I'm just trying to show you this gorgeous adjurescence hopefully it's going to come across on screen there we go that sort of sky blue or electric blue tone that comes through from the gemstone 
not as easy to show in our studio. And do you know what it is? It's the way this has been faceted. It really is going to look incredible in daylight because you're going to get that one light source hitting the gemstone. Because you've got irregular faceting on the gemstone, it is it's difficult to show you because I've got so many different beams of light in the studio. When I was up in the production office uh -huh. earlier, they you were going amazing. When you, as soon as you come into the studio, there's just too many lights. The yeah. They just can't cope, bless them. So. <laughs> oh, I've got a little bit yeah. so that people can appreciate that it is very much there. There we go. Can you see that? Now you're going to be able to see that in abundance once you get these gemstones home as part of this kit. So those are your three gemstones. What a fantastic combination. And actually, just thinking about it, two of June's birthstones in one jewellery kit here. Yeah. Pearls and Moonstone. Amethyst ever present. I love this very um, very classic, elegant combination. Not just of gemstones, but of colour tones. The golds, the purples. Oh, yes, definitely a really very feminine, very elegant, very rich, almost sort of regal feel about it. Because I always yes. think pearls and amethyst, you know, you, amethyst is a colour that's yes. typically associated with monarchy totally and agree. things like that. So, you know, it's just very regal. It's very beautiful. Totally. Do you know what I think of? Do you know, like, it's probably like from when I was a kid, but you know, when you think of um, royals or kings or queens having really long cloaks yeah. with like fur on the bottom. I always yeah. think of that intense purple mm. tone for those. That's what yeah. I always think. Okay, with our kits, we also give you all of your essential threading materials. So you get um, six meters of your elastic, 50 meters of beading thread. And on this occasion, we've gone for that sort of 18 karat gold tone. And then you've also got 80 meters of your monofilament as well. Love that because now we're really starting to build on the layers of elegance within this. Oh, it's called Elegant Lady. <laughs> Clues in the title as ever, Ed. Okay, and we also give you our findings. Now here you've got 115 pieces, gold-plated copper. So again, because we've used the base metal, we can offer you a little bit more than we normally would, but you're still gonna get that gorgeous finish because of the gold plating. So you've got three different kinds of head pins. You've got your flat head pins, your ball head pins, and your very fine head pins. Good thing about those is, they'll go through the finer drill holes, which we were discussing earlier in the show. Yeah. You've also got your toggle clasps, your slider clasps, your ribbon cord ends, your jump rings, your crimp beads, your crimp bead covers, your shepherd hooks, and your spacer beads, as well as a meter of chain, all in gold plated copper. So three of our most popular and elegant gemstones, your threading materials, and a ridiculous number of findings, 115 pieces of gold-plated copper. I love these combination of gemstones, the gold and pearls, and the intensity of the amethyst works so well. And actually, you almost need a neutral tone to mm. break that up, don't you, in the rainbow moonstone? Yeah. Totally yeah. fills the void there. This, this is one of those that I say you can put it in your beading tray and you can pick any gemstone out and put it next to each other and it's just gonna work. You don't have to think about it. It's just one of those. Absolutely, there you go. <laughs> I don't need to say anything else than that. Let's have a look at the price if you were to buy all of these items individually from our website. Okay, so 36.25. Now don't forget, that represents the best value on the market for genuine gemstones, for findings, for threading materials, 36.25. But of course, this is one of our jewelry kits. And with our jewelry kits, it's our aim to encourage people to start jewelry making. Of course, the more people that take it up, the easier it is for us to source wholesale price points for you. Should be 36.25, we wanna get everybody started with this hobby, so we're gonna take that down, we're gonna give you the best price we can possibly give you. 21.95 for amethyst, rainbow moonstone, beautiful golden pearls. I mean, elsewhere, you could easily pay that for the gemstones alone. In fact, just for two strands of gemstones. I mean, these pearls in this kit are so beautiful that I, I've seen smaller pearls set into sterling silver posts, mm -hmm. made into earrings, in a, a little jeweler's, in a little boutique street, and they were just under £100. Oh, I can believe it. And they were no higher 
They weren't, you know, hand dive mm -hmm. Tahitian pearls. They weren't anything <laughs> like that. They, they, they were. They were potato pearls. They yeah. did have irregularities. Yeah, and they were. I think they were about three or four mil in size. They were okay, tiny. Right. These are six by yeah. five mil. So Same. these are really significant size. So technically, you could almost re-strand the pearls yeah. and oh, you make your money back. double your money oh, in fact yeah, you'd definitely. still be offering incredible value yeah i mean just have a look on you know for freshwater pearls bracelets if you wanted to hand knot them if you've got your you know your silk and your knotting tool you could do that with them you know you can just go to town with these and if you wanted to keep get this set I would be getting it for the pearls, but then I would be keeping all the amethyst and the moonstone and say, you know what, I can make some bridesmaids jewelry with the other gemstones I've got. I was just thinking actually, this kit is almost a stash for a bridal party. Oh, definitely. Because the amethyst, maybe the mother of yeah. the bride, the golden pearls for the bridesmaid yeah. or the maid of honour, the rainbow moonstone could be incorporated into a tiara or a head comb. Oh, definitely. So actually, you don't I'm necessarily have to use all the gemstones together. No. They might all suit a different... And I've only worked with what was in the kit. I haven't added anything to okay, this Okay, brilliant. So what's there is what was in the kit. I haven't added anything at all. So it proves that if you just get this kit, you can make all of these pieces of jewellery. Um, the only thing I have used that wasn't in the kit was my Kamihimo disc because I used that on the middle neckline this, piece. Do you know what? This is the piece that is really... <laughs> oh. My producer just said, look what I'm doing. He's taking it under 20 pounds. <laughs> and so we already had lots of people allocating yeah. this to their basket at jewelrymaker.com, coming through on the free phone number. But as I say, our jewelry kits are designed almost to promote the art of jewelry making yeah. by basically giving you a beginner's kit, aren't they? That's what they are. But but you, I, do you know what? When I get kits and I get them mm. for myself, I, I take all the components and strip them out and then I say right well I've got three strands of gemstones I've got a great big findings pack I've got loads of threading material but what you could be doing with this is you could be looking at this and saying you know what I know somebody who's got a wedding coming up and they're gonna have yeah. a hen party why don't we get the girls round we get a couple of these kits a couple of tool kits get yes. the girls round open a bottle of something fizzy and like have a this. girly night in making our jewelry after um seeing the state of my sisters on <laughs> uh, Monday after my sister's hen do, yeah. I think, I bet they wish they'd stayed in a made jewellery. <laughs> well, you, you could start off in the they afternoon, make well. the jewellery and then go out and party in the evening. Why not? <laughs> That's a good idea. That is a good idea. I'm going to a wedding this year, so bridal's very, uh, I'm going to be yeah. father of the bride effectively on Sunday to my sister, so I'll be giving her away and giving my speech and everything. You're prepared. Oh yeah, I mean, it, the only thing that doesn't phase me is giving a speech, <laughs> as you can imagine. The best men at the wedding are like, oh brilliant, so we have to give a speech after you. <laughs> They're all panicking now. <laughs> so it's my only skill talking in front of people. Right, 1995, all I was going to say is I'm just looking at your, hmm. all your pieces are quite gem heavy. Yeah. You've incorporated oh, quite a lot yeah. of gemstones in each. You may one, two, three, four, five, six pieces there. So we're talking yeah. about just over three pound per piece of jewelry. I mean, Crikey. none of these piece of jewelry would be sold for under three pounds because they're all very gem heavy. Yeah. You've got gold plated <laughs> findings. There's so much technique within the designs as well for me, but they don't look like, you know, they yeah. don't look like they've been particularly time they're, consuming, they're but quite, they're still quite intricate. As, as you said earlier, it's the building blocks of jewellery making. So okay. the techniques that are in there are quite basic. Right. But it's using them in different ways. So like on, on this neckline piece here, yep. um, I've actually used one of the spacer bars that just came in that, between actually, the yeah. moonstone to, to hang. I'll grab the moonstone. There we go. Oh, so there's one there. of the little spacer bars there. So I've used that to hang the jump rings and the little drops. I will just say these are plastic, so don't try yeah. and crimp them. No, don't try and crimp <laughs> they them. They will, will shatter, yes. yes. <laughs> I have done that with the smaller ones when I've got them mixed up with my silver crimp beads and I've tried to pick those up and I've actually not looked properly and, and crimped one of those and shattered it. <laughs> um, but you live and learn. Um, so you can see that, you know, and there's a little um, tiny ring of amethyst yes. above the moonstone there so that's just making literally on a piece of monofilament i've just oh, stranded incredible. the amethyst on that so again just another it's almost like making a baby stretchy bracelet yeah you know and but it just, incorporates more texture yeah. and all now also the the design's a little raised yeah. so it just um it's just about attention to detail isn't it it's and about it's, providing yeah. a layers of design that's I suppose. it and you can t you can keep it as simple as you like and just literally put those layers on top of each other right. with those simple techniques so you don't have to be 
the most amazing wire worker. You don't have to be the most intricate beader. You don't have to be all of those things. You can keep your design simple, but just by building those layers, you create designs that have more interest and, and more depth. People are multi-buying this kit. That's the kind of value it represents here. So if you do want to get involved with this, at 19.95, normally all of the items in this kit would take you about 36.25, and hopefully Sarah's gorgeous designs have provided us with a bit of inspiration. This one in particular is exquisite. We will put these up onto Facebook yeah, after the show. Yeah. Um, when we photograph this one, can we put it on a white bus, please? Because it's yeah. getting a little bit lost there. Can, uh, can I just show yeah. it really quickly? Because it is so gorgeous. It twists. It when almost the has part. A, a sort of tree of life feel to it. In yeah, mind, right? and in the centre part twists as well, where it, it go, oh, it's all beaded. So that's the Kumihimo bit, and that's actually using the 12 strand Kumihimo technique off the DVD. So if you manage to get DVD two, that's on there. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you so That's much. That's all right. And um, you're still working still on something. Still beavering away. You can't Ooh, look at I these now. I nearly straight out of the shop. <laughs> I'm desperate to go back over and give deals. I'll tell you why. Because I, thank you, you're Sarah. Welcome. I want to show everybody this chromed up side. It's coming up in about half an hour's time. This is what Sarah is working with right now. She's putting together a little bit of a uh, bit of inspiration for us. But in all honesty, the second you lay eyes on the gemstone, the second you have this in your hands, you're gonna feel pretty inspired. It is absolutely out of this world. It's gorgeous. It's coming up in half an hour, so not long to wait before you can add our Super Starbite to your order. Ridiculous value for Chrome Dops, so they're one of the rarest gemstones available to us. Before that, we've got yet more incredible deals to bring you. Where are we gonna start? Ooh. This is very, very special. How about this as a combination? Shaded emerald and chrome diopside. Ooh. This has quite a muted finish to it, the, the emerald rondelles, and then you've got a gorgeous clarity, almost a, a bottle green from your chrome diopside. I love this. Oh my word, if you intend to come in for this chrome diopside, please trust me when I say this is the perfect accent gemstone and it's an add it to your order price point 55 carats in total if you do want to get involved with this deal start dialing that free phone number now we're talking about 55 carats on one of the big four here beautiful emerald look at that combination of colors it's almost as though you've got brazilian emerald zambian emerald and colombian emerald all on one strand because of the variation in the colors that gorgeous shading known as colour zoning. When we talk about those variations within gemstones, we talk about it as colour zoning, and that's exactly what you've got here. These are beautiful rondelles, very slight variation in the sizes, ranging from four by three to five by three. But again, that provides you with quite an organic finish to the designs, but as I say, it's very slight variation, so gonna work perfectly, isn't it? This is a 30 centimeter strand in total. And we are basically flexing our value muscles here, proving to everybody out there that we here at Durimaker offer you the best value on the market for genuine gemstones. Emerald. Now, that's this month's birthstone. So May's birthstone. A huge carat weight, 55 carats in total. And the most ridiculous price you've ever seen. Have a look at this. Six ninety five for fifty five carats of emerald. I told you here at Jury Maker we offer you the best value on the market. When I talk about the best value, I'm talking about the most affordable prices for the highest possible quality we can source for you. That's exactly what you've got here. And this really goes to back up our buying power. you know what? I think that we've almost done what I warn everyone not to do at home. I say to everybody at home, you know, don't knock the prices down on your jewellery so low that people think, hmm, well then there's no value in it for me. Oh, it can't be real emerald if a pair of earrings is only five or ten pounds. 
trust me, we're not trying to devalue the gemstones, we just have incredible buying power. So we have very long-standing personal relationships with mine owners all over the world and these particular emeralds actually come from Brazil. And so as a result of those long-standing relationships and of course our sort of um, our frequency of buying, so because we are constantly investing in coloured gemstones across the world, we can achieve these ridiculous price points. 6.95 for 55 carats of emerald. I hope you're taking advantage of that deal. Congratulations to all of my buyers coming through, actually who are multi-buying this strand. I'm not surprised. Got a huge number of emeralds there for under 10 pounds. We're moving on though. Gonna go from one end of the spectrum to the other here. So there we had a very organic finish to those gemstones, quite a, a muted color tone and um, sort of irregular faceting. Have a look at these, beautiful clarity, very, very uniformed faceting. And um, I'll get in trouble, but what I would describe as jewelry quality gemstones. <laughs> what I love about Smoky Quartz is, again, that as jewelry makers, it offers us a few different design opportunities. Because yes, you've got that earthy, colour tone from the chocolate brown of your smoky quartz but when we think about classic jewellery combinations like the two-toned jewellery designs like your monochrome looks sometimes that's a little bit harsh for some people and you could use these chocolate brown tones instead of a mm. black gemstone just to soften up a monochrome design you agree with that Sarah? Well, that definitely yeah I mean I, I love to use sort of softer tones with certain gemstones so yeah, it's great to have your really sort of dark positions, mm. you know, where you put like black with hot pink. It looks yeah, fabulous. It looks really dramatic, doesn't some it? Some yeah. people can't carry that off. Yeah. And it's just, you know, that's possibly, you know, um, or don't want to carry it off. And this gives you a beautiful alternative to yes. that. And you just think that smoky quartz has got such, to me, it's one of those gemstones. It, it almost draws you in, it sucks you into looking really mm, deeply into absolutely. the gemstone to see when you, when you get all those facets and you look really deeply into it, it's smoky quartz, you almost see like a fire inside. You get these sort of little shards of orange and yellow sometimes firing out of the gemstone and it just really wants, it makes you want to sort of look into it. It's because of the combination of that colour saturation with the clarity, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. And these, I mean, faceted to perfection. They are literally, there isn't one facet out of place on these gemstones. And I know you spend a lot of money in a certain uh, shop <laughs> for charms. These oh, absolutely lend themselves beautifully to, <laughs> to having just a little bit of fine sterling silver gold plated wire mm. making yes. a bezel or a little bale setting for them. And you have perfect earrings, perfect pendant, perfect charms. They're just amazing. concave cut professional finish in my opinion the kind of gemstones you'd expect to see set into nine carat gold oh, gosh, at yeah. least yeah. on the high street and i know that smoky quartz is a real popular gemstone of really a, a, a viewer's favorite really because when i speak to people on facebook everybody tells me how much they adore working with smoky quartz these Concave cut drops actually range um, from 13 by 8 to 15 by 10. So you've got two 13 by 8 and one 15 by 10. The perfect earring and pendant set. And here comes your price point. 12.95. Wow. When you're working with gemstones that have been finished to this quality, this standard, this is when you can start to achieve those higher price points. Yes. People love to have a huge carat weight, but when the gemstone's slightly included, it adds character, it adds texture, but people still realize that it's not quite the quality that would have been set into gold by a master jeweler. There's no denying that this is that kind of exquisite quality that people expect to see from a jeweler. 12.95, so less than a pound of carat once again. For me, all of the work here has gone into the lapidary 
were the finish on the gemstones themselves. 12.95 for 15 character smoky quartz, and we're going to move on. Going to give everybody the opportunity now to own beautiful blue sapphires. Now, we spoke about sapphires earlier in the show because we brought you canary sapphires. Now, anybody who got hold of that incredible strand, this is the perfect accompaniment. Thirty carats in total. For me, trying to place the colour tone here because it's almost somewhere between a salon blue sapphire and a tanzanite. That's the colour tone we've got. There's almost a purple hues coming through, which is what you'd associate with the blues of a tanzanite. But then you've still got that paler tone that you'd associate with. Salon Blue Sapphires. These particular sapphires have been sourced in Burma. And these are plain rondelles. They range in size from three by one to six by four. Again, you've got that high polished finish on the gemstone, so they look very, very high end. But because they're smaller, they might lend themselves quite well to being used as accent gemstones. So sometimes, not faceting a gemstone is actually going to enhance the way it looks in your design. Because if you have faceted accent gemstones, they might still focus from the focal point of your design. Here, the plain rondelles are going to act perfectly as almost silent assassins, really, because they're going to make a massive impact without stealing focus, if you like. Gorgeous sapphires, and I think when most people think of this gemstone, this is the colour tone that they're envisaging. We talked about the alternative varieties earlier when we were looking at canary sapphire, but really, blue sapphires are what most people's association with it is. And of course, when you're selling your designs, you don't know the, um, the level of knowledge that your customer base always has. So, always important to stock up on the traditional varieties as well as the alternatives. 30 carats of beautiful blue sapphires here. Another of the big four. So far, we've brought you sapphires, rubies, and emeralds within this show tonight. Well, it goes to show how far we've come here on Jewelry Maker. When I first took over as a part of the management team on Jewelry Maker, we were very reliant on jaspers, agates, and the opportunity to bring you beautiful blue sapphires. Uh, well, and I probably at one point never thought I'd have that opportunity, I would think. But thanks to your loyal customer, we've expanded and we've got buying offices all over the world now. And that enables us to source the rarest and most sought after gemstones on the planet. Don't forget, when a princess is getting an engagement ring, she doesn't have diamonds. Oh, no, no, no. She has blue sapphires. 30 carats in total come from our Gems of Distinction range, and here comes our Jewellery Maker price. 49.95, absolutely out of this world. And if you're starting to work with the big four, if you're starting to incorporate sapphires into your jewellery designs, that's when you're gonna start to not only achieve higher price points, but demand higher price points for your work. Particularly if you're working with these kind of gemstones, they're not traditionally going to be seen every weekend at a craft fair. So it's something that's going to allow you to stand out from the crowd. Maybe if you only even incorporate these into your showcase piece, you might not sell it on that occasion, but it'll certainly attract attention to your stall, and then you're going to make sales off the back of that. So, and you know, if you just, you know, looking at the size of that strand, if you just wanted to make earrings off it, you know, make tons and tons of tons yeah of you only need things. what four or five yeah on, on definitely a head pin. yeah and it depends what you put with them i mean you might have you know if you've got those um rose gold um stardust beads that we had on earlier you could put those in between and you know you're going to then need less gemstones but you're using you're adding value by using sterling silver with rose gold plating over the top of it as your accent beads and sapphires and sapphires 49.95, congratulations to all of our buyers coming through for this. It makes me think that you're working on a very elite level. You know, you probably have got your personal commissions if you're starting to invest in the big four. I'm gonna leave that one. 
We're going to move on to, oh, wow. How many of these have we got? They're going to last about 30 seconds. We've got 24 strands in total. We've already talked about the versatility of clear quartz because it's neutral, because of the texture that it offers, and traditionally a little bit of sparkle. These are taking it to another level. Huge, trillion cuts of rough cut clear quartz. I mean, when we talk about a gemstone becoming the focal point of a jewelry design, this is exactly what we're thinking of. This is a, all day long, you've got four pendants here. Four beautiful pendants. This is exactly the kind of finish that I'd expect to see in a gemstone that is the focal point of a bespoke jewelry design. Because we don't have to rely on the traditional faceted finish because we can potentially work within much more affordable price points I think people that are investing in bespoke jewellery designs, people that have an understanding of, you know, maybe the, um, the folklore and legend attached to different gemstones. I suppose I'm, I'm trying to, what I'm trying to basically describe is people that have more of an appreciation of the organic nature of gemstones. That's, that's what I think of when I imagine people who are commissioning bespoke jewellery designs. They want the organic nature of the gemstone to come through in the design. Well, certainly, and you know, if you manage to get any, either of the two um, strands of clear quartz early, the faceted mm. ones, all the buttons, Yes. They, these just then are like the icing on the cake to me because I they agree. just really show where those faceted or highly polished gemstones originated. I'm so glad you said that because you know the design I described earlier. Yeah. That's the exact story I was trying to tell in the piece yeah. of jewellery. So you can see almost the narrative of the gemstones. And I love having gemstones of this quality. Yeah. Because I hand them out when I um if oh I have yes, we talked talk about, about before. Talk yes, about, a great you know, idea. People some people call them like palm stones, you get bigger versions yes. that are for, for if you're if you're talking like about the healing, yeah, things like things that. Like that they, yeah. yeah. Whereas if you've got these and you're talking, whether you, you offer to talk to people, um, whether they be um, at schools or wherever yeah. you might talk to people about gemstones, it's great to get, let people get hands on and see where the gemstones come from. And you could have these, then have the button ones, and then have those really highly faceted ones and say, this is the process yeah. that we have to go through. Absolutely. And this is where this gemstone has originated. And, you can, and as I say, you can tell that story yeah. in a jewellery design as well. People can, yeah. love that. Yeah. In fact, Angela Edwards, our um, business workshop, who um, puts on a workshop that basically tells you how to um, transport your hobby into a small business, she would tell you that she would put these in a small basket with an organza bag and she'd sell them. Well, of course, yeah. People, she was saying, youngsters with their pocket money at a craft fair will snap your hand off because they want their own crystal, they Do want their own Do you know what my gemstone. son's just bought me from um, his little residential trip away? He bought me two little uh, gemstones, but they're in their rough state. And he said, they're for you, Mum, because I know you can make something beautiful out of them. Oh, ah, yeah, so. that's lovely. And I, he bought me two that were sort of boyish colours, the two together. He I wanted said, you to make something for him. That's what said, this is about. <laughs> I said, are you wanting me to make something for you? And he said, yes, I'd like a bracelet. And his brother piped up and said, I want a necklace. So there you go. <laughs> Next two commissions are there. He had a cunning plan. <laughs> Six ninety five. another add it to your order price this evening for genuine gemstones and on this particular strand you can absolutely see that these are genuine gemstones. I love the finish there. Huge carat weights of course because over 100 carats across four gemstones so you're talking about over 25 carats so you can really give the your customers the opportunity to invest in a huge carat weight as the focal point of their design. 6.95 for over 100 carats but as I say we are approaching very very limited availability on that particular strand. We'll leave that one there because it is now time for yet another star buy.
Welcome back to Jewelry Maker. Time now for our final star buy of the evening because, of course, in about 15 minutes' time, it will be our super star buy, which will be the premiere launch of this strand of chromed upside. Have a look at this. I just want to give everybody a heads up in case maybe you've had other commitments this evening, you've just got through the door, you've tuned in to Jewelry Maker. Don't panic, you haven't missed out on the chromed upside. It's coming up in 15 minutes time as a super star by a premier opportunity. Right now, I've got a super saving bundle for you in which we have taken three gemstone strands and bundled them together to provide you with a wholesale opportunity, a discount code and a bargain price. Have a look at this white calcedony, really, really interesting. And actually that sort of uh, translucent finish that you've got from the gemstones is really coming through on these gemstones. Now I don't know if it's picking up the colour tone from the yellow quartz or whether it's my skin tone. But can you see that it's almost a, a sort of peachy glow coming through the gemstones? I love these. Plain rondelles ranging from 9 by 2 to 12 by 6 We've already discussed the, the versatility of this cut with Sarah very recently, haven't we? Charms, pendants, suit so many different um, braiding techniques as well, for example. Then you've got your beautiful regal tone from your traditional amethyst, 85 carats in total. And the ovals themselves range in size from seven by six to 14 by nine mil. So again, a little bit of a graduation there, but just means that you'll have an amethyst for every part of your design and we're going to give you a little bit of inspiration in a minute and you'll see how the graduation has been utilized in that design and then you've got your faceted rondelles of yellow quartz giving you 40 carats and they are three by two mil in size and they are faceted so despite the fact that again you've got that really vivid almost glow from the gemstones the faceting still allows a little bit of a play of light, a little bit of sparkle. Just have a look at how complementary these three gemstones are together within a jewellery design. And you can see that the um, designer here, and I haven't actually got a name, so my apologies, but it's one of our resident jewellery makers, has actually use the smaller gemstones as the focal point. So because they lend themselves, they look a bit more appropriate as drop style gemstones, it's actually the smaller gemstones that become the focal point of the design. I love the combination of the golden tones with the intense purple colors, and then just to break it up a little, that translucent finish to the calcedony. If you were to buy the three strands individually, it would cost you 19.85. But of course, as part of a three strand bundle, we're gonna give you a bit of a saving this evening down to 11.95. A massive saving in fact. So if you do wanna take advantage of this particular combination. Whoa, there you go. My producer reacting to the people coming through on the phone lines. Wants to give everybody a deal. Wants to make genuine gemstones as accessible as possible. He's taken three strands under 10 pounds now. That is serious value. The Chalcedony comes from our Gems of Distinction range. The Amethyst is of the utmost quality. I mean, these are three color tones which every jewelry maker is gonna need within their collection. At 9.95, we're talking about £3.32 a strand for genuine gemstones. And I've got uh, Anne coming through on the phone lines. Tracy, you're there as well. Lots of new buyers getting involved. And this is the perfect way to maybe inject a little bit of colour and a real variety of gemstone cut into your gemstone stash. Maybe you've been looking at your gemstone stash and you've been trying to put together some jewellery designs for the upcoming summer months and you've been feeling a little bit uninspired. 
Well, at under £10 for three gemstone strands, this is the way to do it. This, once again, is Jewelry Maker flexing its value muscles and proving to you that your loyal custom helps us to increase our buying power. £3.32 a strand for genuine gemstones, including yellow quartz, beautiful regal purple amethyst, and this fine strand of white chalcedony. I'm going to leave that on with you. And that represents our final star by the evening. Don't forget, coming up in just 10 minutes' time, this exclusive launch of Chrome Dots. I only have double figures of availability. And the price point I can bring you for the carrot weights you're getting here is out of this world. Seriously, not one to be missed. If you sell your jewellery designs, if you've got personal commissions, even if maybe you want to test the waters with your skills and, and you've been thinking about taking a piece of jewellery for independent valuation, don't do it until you've got this gemstone in your collection. Chrome Diopside coming up at a ridiculous price when you consider the carrot weights that you're getting there. We are going to move on. Oh yeah, the one step looper pliers. These are so useful. They basically allow you to create um, your own head pins, I would say. Which, of course, is going to uh, save you a lot of money. Oh, your own eye pins, I should say, sorry. Yeah, and um, if you're making your own chain links. Of course, those, yes. Do those very uniformly, very easily. Saves uh, wastage of wire if you're using your own wire to do all of those, because it just uh, cuts the right amount. And it just saves a lot of time, gives you a beautiful uniform finish. Um, I love mine. They are very, very easy to use. I've even demonstrated them live on air before. So. <laughs> wow, there you go. That proves that they're very user-friendly and easy to use. <laughs> Getting loads of stick about my jewellery maker at the moment. It's damaging my confidence. Yeah, OK, Ed. I think anything that anyone can do to damage my confidence is probably a useful thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> they talked about widening the door frames around the building because I'm such a big head. One step looping blow. So as Sarah rightly says, very, very easy to use. Everybody seems to love these. As I say, help you to create your own findings, help you to um, create those very uniformed links if you are creating your own tube. And they are a beadsmith tool, pretty much the Rolls Royce of jewelry exactly. making tools, aren't they? Everybody looks for their beadsmith. Yeah. Beadle on as well. So those yeah, two are the main. They're one of the really big players yeah. in the jewelry making tool market. Absolutely. They make things specifically for jewelry makers. So, yeah. you know, th if they're selling this as, as you know one of their tools, then you know that it's been tried, it's been tested, it's got that quality to it. Absolutely. I mean, one of our head buyers here at Jewelry Maker is Hannah Oxbury, who you'll know as a guest designer, but. Because she's a, a jewellery maker herself, she works closely with our tool providers to ensure that we're offering you exactly yeah. the right tool for the job. And my producer has just given you a 33% saving on this particular tool. For the next 60 minutes, you can have this jewel for £18, normally £24.95. Sarah looks upset. That means she bought hers at full price. <laughs> I just saw her go. Yes, never mind. So there you go. Do you they're, know what? They're so vital. I would not be without them, though. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, they're the one, you know, if you need to make your own links, these are brilliant because they're so quick to do, so easy. And it just gives you that uniformity when you're making those rosary link pieces. There you go. Well, they are proven to be very, very popular at jewelrymaker.com. If you want to get involved, then you can dial the free phone number right now to take advantage of that huge saving, a 33% saving, down from 24.95 to 18 pounds exactly. So even if you get them home and you're not sure they're the exact right tool for you, get them home first because otherwise you're not gonna be able to make use of that saving. Maybe you missed out on a previous opportunity to get hold of them on a feature show. 18 pounds, huge reduction there. I was going to ask, yeah, if that's all right, yeah, brilliant, because, and as a result, before we went live this evening, I asked if we could offer this strand of crystal quartz, um, because I knew it would be popular, but actually, it's almost a bit strange, because as much through design as through evolution of the show, we've talked about the necessity of having clear quartz in 
your collection. Mm. And we've also talked about the versatility of your five petaled flowers as well within yes. your design. So really the whole show has been building up to this <laughs> strand. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. But how about this for a combination? Talk about clarity, that bottle green tone from your chrome dioxide with the clear quartz. So, I know that everybody is tuned in right now with the phone in their hand waiting for me to launch this strand of chrome dioxide as my superstar buy. And so, let's give everybody a little deal just to get them started, to wet their whistles, to show them what we do here at Jewelry Maker, the value we offer you. Now, I was trying to explain earlier this evening that despite the fact that quartz is a very common element within the crust of the earth, it's not always easy to find jewellery quality quartz. And then to actually fly it to the other side of the world, polish it to this standards and carve it into five petal flowers, very, very labour intensive, very time consuming. But here at Jewellery Maker, we're not going to reflect the amount of work that's gone into the strand with the price point, because we never do. We are only interested in offering you the best value on the market. Now, we know how popular these sort of uh, inspired by Mother Nature looks are within handmade jewellery designs. And as a result, for the last in stock, we're going to provide you with a clearance price on this particular strand. These are 12 mil five petal flowers, so they are quite significant size. This is a price point not to ignore. Under 10 pounds, 9.95 for 150 carats of your clear quartz five petal flowers, 12 mil in size. For me, that's an added to your order price. Most of the work is done for you here by the gemstone itself, isn't it? Because so much character and texture even if it wasn't a very identifiable shape, which it is obviously because it's a five petal flower, but even if it wasn't, the amount of texture and character that these carvings offer you will feed into your designs. At 14.45, I was starting to think, how on earth do we actually do this? How do we create this kind of value? But at 9.95, I'm totally bamboozled. There's only one thing to do. Nine ninety-five, ridiculous, and add it to your order price. If you've already got an order up and running today here at Jewelry Maker, absolutely risk-free. Simply dial the free phone number or click to buy now at jewelrymaker.com. Get this home as part of your already paid postage and packaging. Make use of that huge reduction. Get these home for nine ninety-five. All the work's done for you. I'm going to have to leave this one with you. It is proving to be very, very popular, and I'm not surprised at the clearance price of 9.95. We're gonna move on. Don't forget, coming up very, very soon, probably in the next five minutes or so, the exclusive launch of this strand of chrome dioxide, a serious superstar buy. Not a gemstone we can bring you every day here on Jewelry Maker. We are fairly successful in sourcing, but whenever we have it, it tends to be smaller, faceted varieties or uniformed ovals for example and if you have a look on our website right now for the uniformed ovals of chrome dioxide which actually represent i believe a smaller carrot weight per gemstone oh on that other strand there you go it's half the carrot weight and this is going to be launched at a lower price so do you can actually price compare against our own website with it, the only people worth competing with in terms of value is our own website. How about that? These are coming up probably in uh, about one sales time. Oh, I love it. That's what I was thinking. Look at how long is this strand? Well, I'll find out because I've got a ruler right here. Bigger than 30 centimetres, that's for sure. Oh, and then the graphics come through at 30 centimetres. They like to be conservative. They don't want to let anybody down. Well, it's longer than ruler. You can see it for yourself, just so you know I'm not missing. And I'm only doing it to the gemstones as well. 
There you go, it goes over the end of the... Well, that's not a very good shot, is it? Look at that, well over the end of the ruler. So there you go, at least 30 centimetres. 30 carats of peridot in total. And these are your faceted rondelles again. They're going to make a massive impact because they've been faceted, but also because you've got peridot here. That rich, vibrant green tone, almost like a fresh cut grass green, if you like. And these are the thought to be the only other gemstone other than diamonds that actually form in the Earth's mantle. So if you can imagine the ridiculous intensity of the pressures and the temperatures that peridot goes through in forming you can understand why you get this rich vibrant green tone and of course that gorgeous brilliance that you get from the gemstone itself there you go there it's coming through looks exquisite doesn't it and here we're looking at august birthday very summery offering and we're going to give you an exclusive price reduction Sh whoa seriously we're taking it down from there should be 12.95 but we're going to take another of our most popular gemstones under 10 pounds only available for the next 60 minutes should be 12.95 don't worry my producer will sort that out on screen taking it down right now to 9.95 so if you do want to add peridot faceted peridot to your collection of gemstones then start dialing that free phone number or click to buy now at jewelrymaker.com 30 carats of peridot for under 10 pounds it's another added to your order price especially when you consider what you're getting a gems of distinction quality birthstone strand for 9.95 we're talking about 33p a carat here for peridot absolutely unheard of i love those sort of golden hues And I'll tell you what, again, the perfect accent to your chrome dot, so I'd have a look at that for a combination. Oh yes, that is fantastic. Do you like that, Sarah? It's a beautiful combination. I've just bothered Sarah while she's trying to just put the finishing touches to her chrome dot upside design. I know, I wasn't like, happy. I put it over there and I went, no, Ed. no, come back. <laughs> 9 95 that's a clearance price tonight for Peridot. If you want to add that to your order, you need to act in the next 60 minutes before it returns to 12 95 And of course, always nice to um, stock up on your birthstones around the time where they're going to come to fruition. That is August birthstone. I've got to leave that one there. It is now time to launch Chrome Diopside as our super star by. Welcome back to Jury Maker. Time now for our Superstar Buy. Now, if you are new to us, then I should just explain that the Superstar Buy is the final opportunity of the evening, your final chance to add to your order from our live shows. And it tends to be our most exclusive premiere launch of the night. Sometimes it will be the item that offers you the best value, but on this occasion, not only is it the most exclusive launch, but probably the most elusive gemstone that we're going to offer you tonight beautiful chromed upside now again regular collectors will already know the rarity of chromed upside and just why it's so rare but new customers may not be aware of exactly why i'm so excited about this offering and it's because we can only um, only mine for this gemstone two to three months of the year it tends to form in such sub-zero temperatures generally found in Russia and Siberia so very very cold and as a result <clears throat> it's actually not feasible to go mining there about nine months of the year this sort of has a bit of a knock-on effect because year on year we're seeing less and less miners dedicating their time even the two or three months that they can dedicate to it they just they're not going back to those regions to look for chrome diopside it is filtering through into the industry so we're seeing less chrome diopside available year on year, so smaller yields. 
and I mean I don't know if we've got the image that we can show the, of the mine I didn't pre-war my director so if not my apologies but um, you but you may well have seen it if you've uh, if you're a regular viewer and you'll know that it looks ridiculously cold these are the t these are the months where we can go there so you can imagine what it's like when we can't go there so as I say it's just not economically viable for the miners to dedicate only two or three months of the year to mining for a gemstone and there it is there's the image that's when it is warm enough to mine there no exactly I'm not going either <laughs> so if Steve's going to that mine I'll give that one a miss yeah can I go somewhere nice and warm <laughs> sunny yeah, that's what I was tropical beaches that would that would do me yes yeah. that's I'll, I'll come on that trip <laughs> now when we normally bring you the chrome drop side it's actually quite rare to find rough cuts that will equate to anything larger than half a carat of chrome dioxide. Of course you have to take into account the wastage because not all of the rough is going to be ending up as part of the usable gemstone if you like. So we tend to think about it as a sort of, I think with chrome dioxide it's probably about one to four. So you know if you start with two carats of rough you're going to end up with half a carat of chrome dioxide that's you know obviously that's a rough estimate you you might find more usable chrome dioxide within it this particular strand represents an average carat weight of over two carats on each gemstone it's absolutely ridiculous honestly this is why i'm so excited do your own research have a look out there i was looking at our own website before we came live and I found one that was 1.46 carats of chrome dioxide, quite a similar shape to this. Obviously it had been polished into an oval shape for so it had been calibrated to be set into a ring design but it's about that size roughly so that's probably one of the larger gemstones on this strand. They range from 6x5 to 12x7 and the jewelry design was actually accented with white zircon not to be confused with cubic zirconia is a gemstone um, so white zircon it would have been accented with into nine carat white gold and the design itself was 186 pounds now don't forget our sister channel gems tv and their website gemporia exactly the same as jewelry maker offer you the best value on the market for genuine gemstones so 186 pounds that was 1.46 carats here i've got 50 carats of chrome dioxide it's across 20 gemstones on this strand, so on average we're talking about over two carats on each gemstone. We are gonna give you an exclusive launch price this evening. My advice is to get involved right now because even if you think this looks like a considered price point, it absolutely isn't. We're talking about roughly, what, 50p a carat? For chrome dots on one of the rarest gemstones on the planet, a gemstone which most independent jewelers don't have the opportunity to sell on a daily basis. In fact, when one lady sent in a valuation she received, she'd worked with our chrome dioxide and our pearls. She took it for an independent valuation. The valuation was handed back to her over 200 pounds. She'd only spent about 30 pounds on, on the um, cost of the items. And I love that. I love the words I just heard. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but one of the reasons for the high valuation was that the jewel himself did say he'd never had the opportunity to sell chrome dots on before, so he asked if he could put it in his window as well. Pretty good. Now, my producer just said to me, I am going to give everybody an exclusive price point for the next 60 minutes. And this is verbatim what he said. And I'm going to go as low as I think I can get away with. Oh, we like those words. Those are, yeah. those are pretty good words for Jerry Reagan. So my advice, start dialing that free phone number to get involved because I don't think we're going to be able to match this price again. Oh, 22.95 for 50 carats of chrome dioxide. Now we're talking about better than 50p a carat for these huge carat weights of chrome dioxide. I don't think I've ever seen chrome dioxide of this size on Jewelry Maker. And I love this organic finish. I'm gonna go over now and have a look at what Sarah's been able to create in that time. I'll just wait for my cameras to catch up with me. <laughs> $22.95, don't forget that price point's only available for 60 minutes. I what know, about that, Sarah? I know, there you go. 
Whoa! <laughs> that is gorgeous. Have a look at that. Just, just something a little bit different, but love it. Yeah. Love the use of the gold tones with the yeah. beautiful, rich chrome greens. I just wanted it to be a real wow factor piece, real it, statement. But because I'm only used has, to. Um, Sorry to enjoy. it yeah. always has like um, Asian influences to me. A little bit, yeah, a little bit, because you've got those sort of drops where I've done the work on the wire jig and then I've added the sidebars in and just because you've got that sort of flow, it's almost got that little bit of an Asian feel, a little bit maybe of a Moroccan style where they yeah. do the windows and they do all this sort of fret work, it's all kind of got that feel to it. But I wanted something with movement, I wanted to keep it quite sort of extravagant in design, but simple in the tones so i've only used the gold and the chrome dioxide together but i think the gold with it just really sort of helps it along oh, i think the gold and the green looks amazing to get amazing clarity from these gemstones they of course. are amazing clarity they've got they've just got an inner a glow a trait of chrome dioxide anyway yeah. But they've but got a, a real inner glow to yeah. them, and I haven't used them all. I've got loads left. Oh, you've still so. got some left after yeah, that very gem heavy piece, actually. Yeah, definitely. So um, I've still got, what, uh, six, no, I think I've got 12 left. So still well, got I enough. Well, I think anybody who has aspirations of selling their jewellery yeah. designs, this honestly is a ridiculous price point for what you're getting here. 50 carats of chrome dioxide for 22.95, as low as we could possibly get it for you, but it's only available at that price for the next 60 minutes. So if I were you, I'd add it to your order right now. You've still got your 30-day money-back guarantee. If you get it home and you don't think it's perfect, send it straight back. But to get these kind of carat weights of this gemstone mm. is literally unheard of 22.95 I've ridiculous never, never had a strand like this I, i've had chrome dioxide before mm. but as i say it's been the little um nuggets Faceted or oh right the I've really little, small, really small yes. nuggets which are beautiful but these to have such a large gemstone you really get that quality of the color the clarity mm. and everything coming through from it yeah you get to appreciate what the gemstone is really all about in a larger carrot way don't you do. you you do and you know i would be Using these as solitaires, um, possibly on a on a pendant, you can make lots of little charms from them. If you wanted to, you know, I mean, can you imagine you could going somewhere oh and getting word. A, a chrome dioxide charm? We have got to bring the show to a close, I'm afraid, Sarah. We just both got so excited about this strand of chrome dioxide that we didn't realise you can still add this to your order. Just enough time for me to say thank you, Sarah, and bye. <laughs> so It's been awesome having you with us today. Thank yeah, you so much, Gemma. And she's managed to me. battle on through. Give it up for Gemma Crow. She's been amazing. <laughs> Even though she's poorly sick. I will give you a hug, but I don't... No, I wouldn't. Don't get that close. Hope you feel better <laughs> soon. <laughs> See you soon, darling. It's been awesome having you with us. Thank you very much. Gorgeous, gorgeous challenge. Brendel, 17 for all those amazing gems. Oh, Becky. Hi. Hi, How lovely. are you? You look so 